anything. Yes, I want to mention 56 plus people and bug them for a stream. Assuming this is how it works. Hello, Lunar Zangetsu. Gestu. Zangetsu. Uh, it's going pretty good. You know, I've slept pretty well, which I haven't been able to do in the past couple days because I've been working retail. You know, trying that hell out. Uh, so, not my favorite thus far, but uh, I'm going to try and focus more on streaming, actually. Got a lot of uh, cell changes lined up, um, but you know, for now, uh, I'm gonna be doing this development shit. I'm gonna, ch what I wanna do for a while, just see how I feel about it, is I wanna start actually treating streaming like a typical nine to five job, where like, you know, clock in, clock out. Uh, Still getting that all lined up though, because you know, if I were to do that, it'd be 16 minutes late, because I don't understand how YouTube's live streaming works until I go back to it and do it again. Then I remember, oh yeah, this this is how stupid this is a setup. I remember now. So, with that in mind, um, today I am going to be working more on one of my custom bosses. Uh, let's see. It was this guy. Yep. Oh yeah, I need to run this as an administrator. Woohoo. Alright. There we go. Open this wonderful move set file. Perfect. How you doing, Lunar? Hey, if you're if you're great, if the fans are feeling great, then I'm feeling great, okay? This is, this is a positive, relaxing energy stream, which, uh, I, don't know, I need to position my microphone better. I'm a professional, and I don't even have my microphone positioned well. That's a lie, I'm not a professional. Okay, does this sound good, decent, bad, and are you able to hear me over the music? Actually, I can probably just look at my OBS for that. Uh, maybe I turn down desktop audio a little bit. Yeah, I, I remember. Th this is what I used to do. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, well, we're remembering stuff now. Memory's not my strongest suit. Alright. So I need to add more to this guy, because it's not enough. I gotta get all of his attacks lined up, and then all the effects and the sounds. I've got most of the sounds lined up, but I want to add a few more attacks to him. At least from what I remember the last time I worked on this guy. Hmm. So with that in mind... Uh, first thing I do every time I set this stuff up, um, I need to give this guy a jump animation. Well, I put something in his jump animation slot so I can reset when he's doing attacks. Then I'll replace the landing animation with, uh, with whatever I want him to attack with. Alright. We're going to start up our handy dandy visual effects tool. This 
going and look at that. Now we've got a whole bunch of shit on the screen. That is exactly what I like to see. Buenarda. A bunch of emojis. Uh, I'll assume that's like a form of hello, maybe good morning. Uh, in which case, good morning. How are things going? But actually, let me advertise this stream a bit more. Let me take this seriously if I'm going to run this shit like a 9 to 5. Give. It's great to see, see you streaming. If he uttered it, good. Oh my god. This guy just put, he just put like some, some slur in another language and, and I just read it out. You know what, on second thought, don't even tell me. I don't want to, I don't want to know. I feel, I feel like things are going to go horribly wrong so quickly on this stream if I know. How you doing, Gib? How you doing, uh, Carter920 slash things I can't read. It just means very good, lol. Oh, okay. That's good. I'm not, I'm not a streamer, so I don't know, like, I, well, I don't typically stream, so I don't know all the things that, like, say people in Twitch chat would put would put in to like bait people into saying stuff. So, you know, that's a bit of a worrisome thing. Hello, Tito Balani. I'm already remembering one of my weakest points in streaming is my ability to pronounce names. Um Things are going pretty well, uh, all things considered. Um, big fan of my arc. What's my arc? <laughs> Not being as dead inside? If so, I agree. I'm also a big fan of that. Even if I have no clue what's going on, watching you mod is pretty cool. Hey, okay, you know, I try to. I'll, I'll try to explain things more as I. Uh, as I good. It, Wow, as I keep going, like, in a lot of these streams, I, like, just, there's, like, dead air, I guess, is what you'd call it. Um, so I'm gonna try and explain, like, what I'm doing a bit better now. Um, so right now, I'm, uh, I'm, like, playing as a boss that I'm making, and I'm going to be, like, making attacks and stuff for it. Like, I'm mostly focusing on visual effects and sounds. Uh, thank you, Swift Sin. Uh, good luck with, uh, being entertained by the stream, I guess. I don't know what to say. So, like, what I'm doing right now is, like, I'm transplanting animations onto his landing animation, then I can trigger them like that. See that shit? This boss is gonna fuck your day up. Then I can cancel it whenever I want, though. This 
one actually is a bit more rude. Um, let's see. Here, let's do this instead. Yeah, so that'll be coming at you by this boss in some fashion. Um, but yeah, right now I'm. This is the this is the phase of development where uh, where I'm making all the shit. So I had to mainly control them to make it a bit easier on myself. But honestly, the fact you can even do that so easily in this engine is kind of it, it surprised me the first time. Um, because it used to be like, you know, controlling bosses was hard, but the reality is you can immediately enable movement with just like two little additions, like two little what we call effect casters. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Your arc of making this mod for someone special to making this for my girlfriend. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the arc too, personally. No bias or anything. Also, bo also, when you're playing as a boss, you can just lock on to something as if you were Sora. I do find it interesting that functionality is retained as well. This game is really well made. I think that's, that's the main lesson here. So, with that in mind, um... No, I'm gonna to show you guys the savior of the modding community, okay? Uh, when it comes to shit like this. So this, so this guy, Bioroxus, alright, this is a cool dude, this is a cool guy. Um, and the greatest thing about him is, uh, he'll, he'll like, show off pretty much everything these bosses do, uh, in slow-mo, or like, fast-mo as well. So you can... So I'm actually able to see like what this boss is normally supposed to do and then I can decide, you know, do I want to interpret it exactly or do I want to take creative liberties? See now, that shit's cool. Uh, but yeah. It's, it's really nice uh, being able to see stuff like that. Um, now, this will be a case, for instance, where like, yeah, I don't think I can really do that, so I'm not gonna bother with that. This, on the other hand, uh, yeah, I could definitely shoot beams out. He plays Birth by, uh, Birth by Sleep, so you don't have to. Yes, uh, 10 out of 10. Uh, subscribe to that guy for making my life easier. But yeah, shit like that, you know, I can, I can look at that and I can be like, yeah, okay, I can work with this. And uh, I'll show you. I'll show you guys an example right now. All right. All right. Here we go. Yeah. This guy's gonna fuck your day up. I told my girlfriend the day your FAQ swapped to making for my girlfriend and got so excited. <laughs> Well, thank, well, thank you uh, for being happy for me. I'm glad you have a girlfriend too. We all deserve someone special in our lives. That's uh, <sighs> it's very healthy. So with that in mind, there was one attack I wanted to do. Um, it was basically like an execute. I need to remember. I need to find where this is on his move set thing. Uh, this man's fucking DMing all over the place. Desperation moving. You know, conceptually, Birth by Sleep, like, secret bosses are, like, so cool. Like, this dude can fucking... Like, look what this sh this guy does, man. Like, this guy is fucking insane. 
Like, man, if you could combo in this game and bosses had revenge value, it'd be nuts what you could do. Oh, I think I missed the execute. I need to find it anyway, because I need to see exactly how they, they do it. I wish I had a girlfriend to make a Kingdom Hearts mod for me. <laughs> Very specific. Yeah, okay, this shit, right? Where it, like, traps you into a fucking orb and then just shatters it. That, like, that's cool as fuck, alright? I don't know if I can make an orb that looks anywhere near that good, unfortunately, but, uh, we're gonna do what we can. Oh, I already have something in the Musa that's kind of like that. Problem is, I need to be able to attach this effect to the player, for one, and the other need to keep them stun locked, and then I need to, you know, just have that be instant death. Hello, Luke. How you doing? Now, maybe I don't need to attach it to the player. I can just... First thing to always ask on days is if they know how to mod an old PS2 game. Dude, if you can't mod... Kingdom Hearts, it's kind of a fucking deal breaker. I'll ex I'll accept but but I I'm a lenient guy, you know. I'll accept not being a fan of <laughs> of Dream Drop Distance, alright? We can work with that. Alright, so I'm gonna need to do some effect caster work for this thing. Um, let's find where I put it in this very long move set. Alright, here we go. Okay, no gravity. Uh huh, that's good. That's what we want. Um, let's see how long you see how long you take to. Uh, I'll put that like frame 60 why not. Hey there, the Neki123, it has been a while. I just woke up, truth be told, so big raw game. Sort of contemplate if I should get the PC for it's one point. Let's take out four both. I don't know, do you already own the games? I assume I assume you already own the games on like something if you're watching this stream. Which, if that's the case, you should just spend your money on something that you haven't already played slash own. You gotta broaden your horizons. Speaking of Kingdom Hearts uh, related shit, uh, we're gonna we're gonna segue into Final Fantasy 16 because that's also got Tetsuya Nomura on it, sort of. Have you guys seen the trailers for that shit? Looks absolutely crazy. It's it's basically like if Final Fantasy XV had an actual combat system, which could be cool. All right. So first thing I want to do is. I think I need to find I need to find the orb. So what did I do with the orb? Uh, disaster orb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, so that's gonna be 16, which means I need to scroll down a bit. Uh, 16. Last Final Fantasy related thing I saw was Chaos Guy, dude. Chaos guy is the freshest breath of air Final Fantasy has ever had. I fucking love that character because he 
it seems like the way he was written, he was written like, okay, what if there was a guy who was in Final Fantasy but really fucking hated the fact that he was in Final Fantasy? Like, he just fucking hates, like, anime shit in general. How can we write a character that's so ticked off by everything? And this dude just goes around fucking... Like, he, he's like the exact opposite of every character you ever see in this shit. Like, there's scenes of, like, this girl being really into him and just running around to him, and all I can be, do is, like, a gruff... A gruff, irritated sound, like... Ugh. Ugh. All I want is to kill chaos. This dude doesn't give a fuck about anything but his one-dimensional goal. I fucking love it. Graphically impressive, but I'm worried about the very typical medieval style that we've seen a million times in RPGs. You know, I really don't mind the medieval style. Um... Maybe, maybe it's just a comfort zone thing, because I, because like, I'm just used to that sort of thing. I think medieval stuff in general is just cool, but, yeah, I can, I can see the complaint. Yeah, man, fucking kill chaos over here, like, okay, how many times have we, have we seen it, time and time again, where, like, the protagonist of Final Fantasy is just some brooding loser or something, or he's just, like, he would be a loser if he wasn't really good with a sword, right? Or like, just like something you never want to actually interact with. Like, Cloud is, ugh, he's so boring. Squall in like Final Fantasy VIII is like the biggest dick in any game. And then, and then you have this guy who just flips that all around because like, <laughs> He's still a, he's still an asshole, but he's not fucking boring. He's so he somehow is so one-dimensional that it's just captivating. Like you want to see what this guy says in all these in all these scenarios he's put in. Cuz you just know it's going to wrap back around to how can we make this about chaos? Alright, we got the ol That'll be a good enough effect. I can probably just increase the size. He's a cool one-dimensional asshole. Like, yeah, it's so one-dimensional, but it's kinda cool that there's just some guy who doesn't want to deal with all this shit. I think it's actually just really realistic. <laughs> like, he's a realistic dude that just has no filter when it comes to, to the fact that he doesn't give a fuck. What Final Fantasy was that anyway? Oh fuck, um, I believe it was called Final Fantasy Stranger of Paradise. I think that was the one. Yeah, Stranger of Paradise. If you haven't played, if you haven't like played it, or like, and even if you don't have an interest in playing it, I go on YouTube and just search up like a fucking movie of all the shit like like those cutscene movie compilations or whatever this dude is amazing to watch we're channeling every casual Final Fantasy player dude it, it's so weird cause there's there's a <laughs> there, there's a scene in the game right where this boss is about to monologue and like this dude looks like something where it could be like, yeah, you know, maybe that's chaos. And the dude fucking interrupts the guy's monologue to try and punch him in this fuck in this demon's face. And he's just like, I don't give a fuck who you are. Like, this man's trying to skip the cutscene in a Final Fantasy game. Yeah, yeah, I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> I love it, dude. I w I hope that more there's more characters in Final Fantasy that are just written in this sort of like obvious comedic style, where there there's just something about their character that is ingrained into like all of their interactions. Like even if it's one dimensional, it's far more interesting to me than the typical anime protagonist bullshit that 
so many of these games just engage in nowadays. Hello, Xerxes. How you been? Um, alright, so I think this orb is a decent enough. Maybe I should make it larger, actually. Just because this hitbox will be so. Well, hmm, do I want this to be. A ridiculous hit? Yeah, kinda. I kinda want it to be ridiculous. I can change it as time goes on, but. This does. This is still kinda like a vortex, so. Uh, that's too high. Um. Down there. Okay, good enough. I think that what sells his character is the fact he's in a franchise with so much crazy stuff in lore, but he does not care at all and just. just. Wants to kick some guy's ass. Yeah, dude, he doesn't give... He's like the MMO player that doesn't read any of the quest dialogue. He's just like... He, he's just waiting for the quest tracker for Chaos to finally show up. <laughs> Fuck, there's even scenes of him just being like, When do we get to fight Chaos? <laughs> How's Aqua going? Going pretty well. We're, uh, we're coding a uh, custom, well, not coding the custom boss, we're like setting up all the visual effects and shit, so it's more like assembling a custom boss. But uh, once I get to the AI for this guy, it's gonna be uh, something. I almost feel like I should lower this a bit more. Okay, we'll shrink it a bit in size. There won't be more Dissidia. Oh, really? I can't remember if it was the last game. I remember some one Dissidia game seemed to flop pretty poor, pretty badly. Is is that the was that the last one? Is that why they're not making more? Um. Okay. So now I'm gonna need to add a hitbox to this when it actually comes out. Well, first off, I need to actually trigger the damn thing. Um, let's see, when do I want this to come out? Probably when you put this hand out. Use the force. Okay, so like, yeah, frame 25. Fuck it. It's gonna be a brutal attack. Was the last city that flopped? Yeah, okay. That... I had a feeling that was why. Yo, Brad, what's going on, man? Well, because it was bad? Yeah, so, I never really got into the Dissidia series. Uh, what was so bad about this one in comparison to the others? Because from everything I've seen of, like, the older Dissidia games, at least, the combat looked pretty fucking engaging. Silo isn't moving probably for a frame or something? Oh yeah, it's this weird, like, disjoint issue. Um, so basically, we have a converter for Birth by Sleep animations, so like, you know, Kingdom Hearts 2, but the way Birth by Sleep does animations, um, like, when it wraps around to, like, 360 degrees, that's when it's just like, okay, so this, we need to get this bone down to, like, zero again. Like, it's basically looped all the way around, but... Unfortunately, the way Kingdom Hearts 2 does something is just like, okay, if there's interpolation between, like, frame, or, like, angle negative 359, then, then, and it needs to go back down to zero, then rather than, like, wrap around by, like, just doing, like, okay, 359 to zero, it's just like, uh, let's do, like, negative 154, right? So that's why, like, you've got a jerking like his arm is just jerking to the side for like a frame um I may try to fix this because we actually can do custom animations now so we can fix that uh but that's for like that's for later that's one of those things where like once I go through all the a, a bunch of shit it's just like okay do I really care The SP the City games were made by a portion of the KSU dev team. Oh, interesting, okay. 
No, no wonder they were so beloved. Those people know how to actually make engaging combat. Hey, Leopard Gaming. Oh heck yeah, I love catching the streams. Yeah, so actually, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be streaming a lot more often for a while. Um, I'm going to actually be trying to take this shit more seriously. As like, like I'm gonna start legitimately treating streaming as like a nine to five job for a while, just to see if like I actually enjoy it enough to do that. Cause the alternative is like right now, you know, I'm working retail shit, and uh, I'm not enjoying it. We'll just say that much. It's uh, it fucks with my sleep schedule. It fucks with my ability to think clearly because I'm not sleeping well. And it's a lot of physical exertion. You know, I don't mind like exercise and shit, but you know, after lifting like, after doing like the whole juice aisle at a Publix, the last thing I want to be told is, uh, you know, oh, um, yeah, so uh, you know, this guy need, needs help with on aisle five where like all the fucking flour is and shit. Just like, man. Um, alright, so... I, I hate when YouTube does this. I have to... Sometimes I'll just stop playing the playlist. I gotta consciously realize when the music stops and just tell it to resume. In comparison to the other city games, there was more of a heavy emphasis on multiplayer for the latest for one, if I remember right. That could be good if their internet isn't shit. Or, like, the connection and all that. Connection can make or break these games. Uh, that's why I can never take Smash Ultimate seriously. It's because the Wi-Fi in that game is fucking atrocious. I don't know that guy who planned to do a mod. forgot the character they meant to implement. Uh, you have to be more specific, because there's quite a few... There's quite a few people who will, like, start a passion project and then just realize, Hey, you know, I'm not really feeling it anymore. Fuck this. Echo isn't all that great either. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's usually what'll do it. Um, okay, so let's see if this actually works how I want it to. Not quite. Okay, what's going on here? Maybe I should just have it on frame zero. Uh, you know what? I need to. I think I need to detach that. From... Oh, this is gonna be so tricky to simulate. Okay. Um. Okay, one sixty-three. Now this is gonna have to be like. Oh god, is there even a digit for this? For something to terminate when the animation is done? I think it's one sixty-nine. Maybe. No, maybe it's 163. Oh, uh, you know, if I trigger that sooner, that might actually work. Like, it would be perfectly synced. Hmm, okay. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna cheat with this attack a little. We're gonna make it first sooner. We gotta time this. You know, fuck it. This will be like really early attack, and it'll be like an indicator that it's coming. I think that's the only way I can make this like feasibly work to begin with. Uh, 
So I want it to like break when he does slash. Okay, so now we're gonna do. We gotta do the next effect, and then. Yeah, so roughly the same range, so. 120, 210. Somebody making a Roxas mod and just never upload again? Uh, you might be thinking of the guy called Kusabi. Uh, yeah, that guy just kind of disappeared. Hey, what frame, what frame you doing that slash, buddy? Uh... Okay, so like, we'll say frame 170 then. Yeah, if you want like Roxas content, there's two people do doing uh, Roxas stuff. Um, I will I will link. To, actually, they <laughs> they linked in the description because they both uh, done some stuff for this mod too. But um, let's see. So in the description, there's. Uh, Oh my god, I forgot YouTube Shorn's links. Alright, I'll just directly link to them. Um, so, this guy, Ryzel, has been working on a Roxas mod for a while. Um, and then, this other guy, uh, Project Nobody May Cry, uh, he's working on another one. Um, both very, both very, very, uh, both very, very entertaining. Um, so Ryzo has been working on his for, for longer, uh, Project Nobody May Cry has been working on it for, for his for a while now too. Um, and, uh, yeah, basically if you want Roxas mods, there you go. Okay, now how do I get that orb? Oh, this is a puzzle and a half. Holy shit. Okay. I wish there was, like, some way you could just attach something directly to the player without needing any other. Off, we need a hitbox that'll launch them up enough. This guy goes pretty fucking high, so I might need to manually edit something for this. No, actually. Gotta use this one.
Uh, there is someone who has been working on a Terra mod for a while, but they don't really post anything about it to my knowledge. And uh, they work on a lot of different stuff, so... I don't think they're gonna finish it. But maybe they'll prove me wrong. It's hard to make, like, a really in-depth character mod, and then also figure out how how deep you want to delve into it once you do it, because, you know, once you have, like, a baseline set up for everything, um, you know, there's so much more you gotta worry about, like, do you want a story, do you want to balance enemies around the, around this thing, this guy's moveset, do you want to include allies, maybe, do you want to include some special new events? Do you want to, I don't know, change up the mechanics? you want to add new mechanics? Do you want to add, like, newer mechanics later on once you, once you get an idea that clicks in your head and you want to see if it works? You know, it's just a bunch of, a bunch of shit piles on with, uh, mods like this. And if you don't, if you don't have, like, at least a solid foundation that you, that you've made that you can build upon whenever you feel like it, um, it can start to get pretty, uh, overwhelming. And, uh, it's pretty understandable that a lot of people can fall into that sort of trap, because there's no real, you know, guidebook out there on, uh, how do I make a game mod? without, you know, burnout or anything like that. Like a full-on, full-fledged custom moveset and shit like that, you know? Oh, you know what? This might be a good time to actually use... Hmm, I haven't pulled out this hitbox in a long time. This might actually be the one. Considering it doesn't seem to keep fire, apparently. Have you seen Akiba Mido Sinso? Sinsu? Whatever. Uh, no, I have not. What's, uh, what is this? What, what, what are these words you, you have put in the chat, good sir? You know, maybe I just take advantage of the fact that it's a vortex and I put it closer to him. Uh, I don't know. Hmm, or maybe I do make it attached. Fuck, vi video games are trash. Even if we just get Aqua and one of the rock spots finished, I'll be happy. I never thought Cage 2 would get stuff with this much death ever. I can't ask for much more. 
Yeah, I mean, these games are. This this game is very time consuming to mod. There's a lot of little details you have to be aware of when modding it. Um, so much so that by the end of it, you'll probably become a fucking encyclopedia. If you've worked on it for too long, like me. Uh, let's see, is that reasonable? Um... Are you a hacker? Dude, I am. I am a hacker of old PlayStation 2 games. I'm like, I'm like fucking anonymous if anonymous only modified PlayStation 2 games. Don't worry, I won't ask for your credit card information. Okay, you know, maybe if I just shorten this, it'll be more reasonable looking. LOL. Oh no, sir, we don't we don't play League of Legends around here. We play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Okay, that that's looking better. Did you already have a frame by frame advancer or something? I mean I have two things. Um I have uh what is it? I have you know this thing that can like preview the animation and whatnot, but like I can't throw visual effects into this. This is this is definitely very useful for you know knowing where you want to put like all your frame data for stuff. Um, for this, the best we've got is like something that can freeze time, which I actually do not have enabled right now. Let me fix that. Woohoo! Um, where is this being read from again? Uh, gee, okay. Yeah, let's, uh, put that in there. Wait, it is already in there. What the hell? Hey, why can't I freeze time with this guy? Oh, it's because I don't have cheats in eight. That's right. Can't have that... Couldn't have that enabled right now, I was having some trouble actually with this fucking dynamic load every time I did that, so I just said to hell with it for now. So we're just gonna do this the old fashioned way. How stable would you say this mod is compared to the Venetius mod? Uh, a lot more stable considering there's only like a select few places where it seems to crash fairly often. Um. that I need to fix, and, you know, a lot of the issues, unlike with Vanitas, can actually be fixed, so... That's a plus. Hey, let me change this hip hitbox range. Does three really reach that far? Jeez. I need something that like pulls them relative to the character's range, I feel. I think that's the only way we're gonna get this. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that's kinda funny. You're fucking dead now. Jesus. All right, let me uh, let's let's walk normally for a while. Should be able to fix the flickering. Yeah, that's gonna be one of the things I do uh, last because I still have to decide if I even give a shit about the flickering. Yeah, 
Yeah, you know, that's that's the that's the bad part about being cursed with knowledge. Now it's your responsibility, whereas before you could just claim ignorance. Can always do it if I need. I, I mean, shit. If you're offering, fuck. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll send you a roulette of all the animations once I'm done streaming. Let me know how to worry about the one who crashed the game with switch keyblades. Why they crashed the game in the first place? Um. So. In the Venice mod, I set up the ally system in a really strange way, where I was actually replacing two of Sora's, or in this case Venice's, uh, drive forms. And the reason I was doing that was because if you do the alternative of replacing Donald and Goofy, then you'll get a lot of cutscene crashes. And since cutscenes back then are forced, whereas now we can actually like fully skip them if we really want to, um, without the movie loading in. Uh, I had to choose, like, you know, do I take some random issues that I can kind of work around, or at least tell the player how to work around, or do I let the game force itself into into a crash? And at that point, the answer is kind of obvious. It's gonna take forever. You're gonna. Oh no! So much hostility. I'm kidding. These guys are besties. You know what? I think I know how I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be stupid, but I can manage it. We're just gonna have to do like four hitboxes for for the magnetization. Fucking video games. Alright. It's fine. It's whatever. But we, we do what we gotta do around here. So let's like put this further out. Then we're gonna do, um... Right, I need to copy this. To like... I think I had it 18 before. Do this, and then we need a. Uh, what was it again? 44C, I believe it was. Yes. Okay. Gonna be into by the time it gets released. Yeah, cause shit like, shit like this, having to figure out how we're gonna do these hit boxes. Okay, that sent you like way, way further. Than it should have. I need to add like actual motions to fall. I thought I had this before. I think I removed it though. Cause I'm smart. All right, here we go. Can go up in the air. All right, there we go. You know what, maybe I don't want that one. Maybe I want a different magnet hitbox. I want to use the tried and true one that actually pulls them much closer. Uh, let's see, 1,900. Let's try that. Okay, not bad, not bad. So I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need now to have a hitbox that will immediately like knock them down on the ground. And then we'll go from there. Have it slightly pull them in again. This is the mat this is the magic. You guys don't realize it on some of these attacks, but they'll actually play like four some of them will play like three or four hitboxes back to back. Without you even realizing it, like within like four frames of each other. 
This is the same as Mass Forms Gather. Yeah, I'm gonna try to make it look like slightly different, but I mean, as it stands, like it's a yellow and white orb. I mean, it kind of does fit Armor of the Master, just like appearance wise. Um, alright. So that, that. Then we're gonna need to immediately do this. Let's try that. I didn't immediately knock him down. Oh, trickery. Okay, we'll have to just move this forward a bit in the timeline, I guess. I don't really know. This is the part where we're like testing until we can get shit working. Hmm, that kind of knocks them at a distance. Though. I need one that knocks them directly downward. That would be the that'd be a good solution. So right now I'm trying to I'm just trying to get a version of this orb where it'll pull them in and then they'll be kind of stuck in it before it launches them up. We're doing all this just for that. You wanna know why? I care I care about how these these attacks impact the player. Like when you get hit by this thing, you know, you got you gotta let the player know. Wow, I am completely and utterly fucked. <laughs> it's like being grabbed by a dancer. Hopefully there's a fair chance of everyone becoming a Keyblade Master in that case. My first order of business, uh, Sora is a Keyblade Master. You're welcome. Is this saying? Oh, I already read that. Page 2 engine support 60 FPS. Uh, yes. Cage 2 does support 60 FPS, and the reason is actually quite funny. Um, the game is running at 60 FPS in the menus. Like, as in, like, the main menu and, like, the end screen menu. That is the only time the game will run in 60 FPS, but because of that, uh, it does in fact support it. Ooh, wait a minute. I know how I can make the orb. Oh shit, shit. Yo, yo, it's all coming it's all coming together. I was I was wondering how I could make the, the orbs actually like the orb have like those chains and shit. I can do that I can fucking do that shit, because I have a hit effect for it. I'm gonna mix it in there. I just need to figure out which one the uh thing actually was. Oh man. See see this is the part where like stuff stuff just clicks, you know, and you're like, fuck yeah. It's all gonna be worth it. Um, as soon as I can find... As soon as I can find which one of these it corresponds to... Uh, da 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 shit. That's a white oil blinding flash, da 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 I think I had it set up as 1-2. Yes, okay, cool. So now chain hit. Um Hey watch this. We're gonna transform this. We're gonna transform this with the power of stacking effects. It's that type of shit you only do when it's when it's a mod rather than an actual game, but it's gonna work. Morning spooky, how's it going? Wait, spooky? Whoa! Don't fucking sneak up on a guy like that. You could give me a heart attack how spooky you are. Alright, what's, uh... What's the range of this? Yeah, okay. Do that. You fucking tool, you didn't say that. Come on. There we go. Oh, damn, it's been so long. I've last checked in Project Aqua. Well, you know, to be fair, it's been a long time since I've streamed. So, understandable. 
Okay, so now I need to trigger this effect. Um, I did figure out how I'm going to space this out. I'm going to try in like intervals of 40, I guess. Glad to hear you're doing all right, Spooky. Yeah, so a lot of older games do this thing where they tie the gravity like ticks to the um, to the frame rate. So when you start messing with FPS, um, it starts affecting shit like gravity. Um, and in the case of this game, uh, yeah, you basically you basically don't get launched as high. You fall like double the speed. Well, like everything falls at like double the speed. Uh, that being said, um, it's really only an issue in like the base game if you're willing to like well from a move set standpoint for the player like 60 fps is actually very nice regardless because you can balance ship and like your combos around 60 fps like that's not really the primary issue um it's really just something inconveniencing to you know sora because his combos are not suddenly not launching as far as they should be or as high as they should be why PS2 instead of PC version? Because I started this three years ago before the PC version was even a thing. Okay, I need to make those chain effects more prominent, I think. Let's look at that from... Maybe I just enlarge them, or maybe I do, like, different rotation of them. Hmm. Big thinking thoughts. Uh, alright. Okay, so I can see that changing how they're laid out. I believe. What happens if I do, like, this now? Okay. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Um... So let's do, like, 40 on the placement. Okay, and then I could clone this. Alright, we're, we're thinking the big thoughts here. We're gonna clone the chain effect that we just subtly put into this thing. Then we're going to have it activate both those effects in the orb. We're just going to see how it looks. This is, this is modding, this, this is just, it's, it's stuff that makes it, it, it lets you know it's a mod and not like <laughs> an actual original game. But hey, if it works, oh yeah, there we go. See, look at that. Now there's a bunch of chains there. I could probably just enlarge those. Now that I'm thinking about it. So that would probably make them fit the orb much better than just being stuck in the middle. Or kind of the middle. Okay, all those save. Okay. There we go. It's a chain orb! Jesus seeing this is like what I imagine program was like when I was a kid. This seems hard to be honest. Um, there's definitely a lot of trial and error uh, when you don't have like... When you can't just code it all in like your own little application. Okay, so let's make those play... 80 frames... There are a lot of limitations of uploading textures. Um, so, funny story about that. There's actually a version of PCSX2 now. Um, I'm not using it currently because that's like release versions of this mod that I use it for. 
but you can insert your own HD-ified textures, and it looks good. I actually did a video on that. Um, if you want to search it up, it's, uh, I think it was like custom textures for, for PS2 games are now here. Or it was like custom slash HD textures. Um, and I show like comparison shots of what it normally looks like in game, and then after I like did changes to it. I need to get this slightly more distant just to see how it works. Is this a good range for it? Who knows? That's kind of working. Alright. We got our cool little visuals. Now we gotta actually work on the rest of it. You know, stream probably wouldn't do it justice, but let me just pull it up actually because it's, it's it's actually quite interesting. Um, awesome. Uh, Kirby Amiibo. Oh, do I not have it? Eight. Maybe I just called it HD textures. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Um, I don't think my OBS is the best quality, but you'll still probably be able to see it. So like. So like this is just the tile screen art, okay? So like this is what it looks like normally, and then that's how it looks with the fucking like HD texture replacement. And you can just do this for shit anywhere in the fucking game. Like I did it for Realm of Darkness maps. I did it for like the fucking main menu. Like, it's crazy, dude. It looks so fucking... It looks so fucking good, honestly. You see this sh Like, you see this shit? It's amazing. And, like, basically, if it's a PNG, it's replaceable. The only issue I've run into was, like, a repeat... A, a repeated occurrence in the menus where, like, it would just load in a different version of, like, a list of all the little HUD icons, like, uh, the fucking, like, hold on. Like, these little keyblades and armor and, and ring little icons here. Oh, uh, these are all, like, in, a, in the same file. And for whatever reason, the game just really does not hold that texture in RAM all the time, so... That means, uh, there's no real way to replace that one to my knowledge, like, unless they've updated it. Um, but yeah, it's because it has like a different, I guess what you call it is like a hash ID when it's, uh, when it's dumped. Because first you dump the textures as they're loaded in, and then you're like, okay, so this is what it's gonna, so this is how it's normally loaded into the game, like this is the file name you use, okay. Then you got a replacements folder where you just name something the exact same and it does it. You planning on adding HD textures? Oh yeah, there's already some, some HD textures, it's just that... You're never really gonna see them on, like, my streams unless I'm, like, playing through the game because, you know, right now I'm on, like, a fucking debug version where everything is, like, kind of washed out and shit. Because I had to use this older version for when I'm doing, like, the programming shit. But then if you actually, like, use the, um... You know, here, I can just show you guys, actually. I will... Hmm, actually, no, I don't want to temporarily pause my work. I think again, they might not hook. So fuck it, let's try it. Let's just close out this real quick. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it, Brad. Yeah, it's literally just like the menu shit. <clears throat> anyway, so this is like the quote unquote release version of the mod. So, like, you get to see the tile screen looking this fucking clean. Now tell me that shit ain't fucking cool, dude! And then, like, I've even, like, added in, like, the HD remaster uh, font text as well. 
So like the text is sharper, you know, all the menu shit is sharper, all right? Like, it's crazy. Um, let's see. So then here. Load into Brad's really cool garden of assemblage area. So like, yeah, so like you see the HUD elements on this, like the drive gauge, the HP, the MP, uh, and you got like this pause menu here where everything is just sharper. I don't really know how good this is coming through OBS, but you know, hopefully you can kind of see the difference. Now, uh, let's see. So like, just focus on the command menu since that's the best I've, uh, since that's what I can show while Armor of the Master's on the field, but like, look at the difference in just like, the quality of the command menu, right? Like it's, like there, there's less saturation on it, it's more blurry, the font is, you know, less good. <laughs> So it's just like, yeah, you know, you go from this to this, it's just like, what the fuck? Who knew you could do shit like this, you know? So yeah, this is definitely one of the, this is definitely one of the best features PCSX2 has ever added. Is it 720p? Does the stream suck that bad? Oh, there's 1080 on here, at least from what I'm looking at. Yeah, so I mean like, and you can do that shit to maps as well. There is one map I was fucking with, just to see if I could, you know, HDify it, quote unquote, and I did. Um, I don't know if I'd do that for every map, but prob but ones like the Realm of Darkness maps, for instance, I want them to look as good as I can. Um, alright. So we got the orb absorbing. I think I should add more hitboxes there, actually. Maybe once it's slightly full enemies in. Well, now we're just getting back to the fucking BA thing, though. Ugh. Video games are difficult. Fuck, we'll just add a couple more weak little hitboxes on here since, you know, we gotta simulate. Oh, that orb actually dealing damage over time. Add like this. 203. Which reminds me I need to get the count right on this. Uh, two. Doing a little bit of the bare bone stuff. You have to, so this third parameter here, you have to make sure this is counting up or hitboxes won't combo the player. Because the player has extra privilege in comparison to enemies, I guess. Cheating bastard. Why have it BHD when you can play at the original low resolution? Dude, true. Get on that CRT monitor. I think there'll be a lot of limits to PS2 mods and game experience users aren't in low res. It's just lovely. Yeah, man. It's awesome. It, it, it's great. It's not even like a modding scene related thing either. It's just like. That's support across all PlayStation 2 games. Like, it doesn't have to just be Kingdom Hearts 2 that you do that with. Which is fucking crazy to me. <laughs> okay. Is that slightly pushing them away?
Maybe I actually make that shorter range. Maybe that's how I deal with this issue. Oops, wrong one. Because then they won't be pushed out of the orb if they get too close. Big thinking thoughts! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, now, what if I'm further away from you, huh? Hmm, okay. Yeah, that's probably as good as we're gonna get that portion of it. Alright, so now the actual launching problem we have here. That's where it's gonna get fun. The problem is, I can't slowly raise the effect. Oh yeah, I remember you replaced like the sign on the chum bucket, that was funny. Brad. The evolution is remarkable. Thank you, uh... Oh god, you told me how to say your name before and I've already forgotten it. Kiyosuke, I believe. Um, alright. Let's put on our big thinking hats. You know, maybe when he moves his hand up, I just... Maybe I just don't knock the, the, them up there all the way until, like, the very last moment. And then I just add, like, a warp effect of some kind. That might actually be the play. That might be the only way to simulate this properly. Alright, let's move this to, like, right before he warps. Okay, this is gonna be a really tight window. Holy shit. Um, alright. Yeah, Vanilla's mod was kind of like the first of its kind, and I noticed that, like, once I started doing that, a lot of people were j Like, quite a few people just wanted to start contributing shit to it, which I thought was pretty fucking awesome. Um... I look back on that mod as, like, you know, someone who, who's just like, Man, I could do this so much better now. Man, this kind of sucks, but... Uh... Yeah, I'm happy to say that kind of pioneered a lot of shit. And it, like, inspired people to do more shit, like, obviously not everything in the scene is a result of that, like, but it's, like, it's one of the, I think it's one of those things where, like, once I started doing it, a lot of people started realizing, wow, there's actually a lot of crazy shit possible with this game. I might just have to go for the for one frame things. I don't normally like doing, but I always have to make sure there aren't frame drops during this attack, I guess. Ah, oh, that's always tricky. Six, seven. All right. Let's try again. He's too fast! Uh, 
Uh, I really don't want to have to manually edit a hitbox's values and shit, but I'm probably gonna have to just for this to work, but uh, it's not the worst thing in the world, it's just uh, the way I work is different, I suppose. Yeah, the Venus, some of the Venus mod videos get just randomly we get like over 100,000 or, or like 90,000 views. I'm just like, god damn. People like Marluxia that much? What's going on here? <laughs> and I was just like, okay, what's different from this one than the other one? It's like, oh, well, you know, Marluxia, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Hey, I just noticed you're streaming. I want to stop by and say I love the mod you've been making. I really like the Venus mod. I can't wait to play the, the Aqua mod. Oh, dude, I can't wait to finish the Aquamon. But yeah, when it comes out, I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm actually gonna... Eventually, I'm gonna actually reduce the price it, of it on Patreon uh, to play this mod since it's getting, you know, closer to being done. Like, it's not done-done, but it's just like, well, I'm gonna make it free once, it, once it's actually finished anyways. But... Yeah, I'll probably be lowering the price of that. We're doing a lot of shit to that fucking Patreon. See you, one. Personally, I love seeing all the progress posts in these mods. And as a kid, being fascinated with people exploring Destiny Islands and using the untextured Cage One Ultima, so all this up my alley. Yeah, man. I mean, hey, if you love a game, uh, like you know, that's what modding is all about. Is uh. You know, just enjoying yourself with passion projects. But I'm sure it's even more of a treat to like to just be able to play without having to do all this fucking work for it. Alright, well, clearly this method isn't gonna work, so let's try something else. Well, maybe if I knock them up like on this frame, like right before he launches himself, it could work. I am a master of being lazy, I swear to god. Alright, come on. Oh, that was closer. I think. Ah, uh, not quite. What frame are you going up? What if the range is just so high it doesn't even matter? I'm committed I'm committed to this method of one frame hitbox. We're gonna keep doing this until it works. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. I believe. I believe. Ah, oh, fucking dreams are made to be broken, man. It's really gonna make your videos get more views. The epic story for this mod. Oh, I'm sure, dude. <laughs> the original version was just normal, so the skirtish thing of me. It still was a hive, then came loose, and out of nowhere. Huge full mod. Yeah, man. I mean, I just I saw Venus, so I was just like, hmm, you know, it'll be funny. Maybe instead of like only doing like boss versus boss moveset mods, what if I just like actually did a playable mod for once in my life? And it's like, wow, that was pretty cool. I think part of what inspired that is that like when I did like those quote unquote ultimate, you know, Sora Dry Form mods. That were just entirely ram hacks. Um, those actually all perform pretty well. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just because something, a tile like Ultimate Wisdom Sora, like Mega Spirit, Ma Magus Spirit or whatever, Mega Spirit, is just like, you know, oh wow, that, that sounds interesting. But I think a part of it was also like, oh dude, wait, Sora can be cooler? 
Yeah, so what I'm trying to do right now is just have the hitbox to start a few frames before. Uh, I mean, this could this could work. Like the problem is like the initial drag up from what I'm seeing. Okay, I think that launched her higher actually. Fuck you, game. It's gonna work. I don't care how many fucking hitboxes I have to add onto this damn thing. Pull this track. Um, I'm definitely gonna have this as like. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. That was that was almost it right there. Okay. Um. So this is definitely gonna be something that probably happens like after an attack. Probably is like a mix-up or something. Cause currently like this this thing is starting on, like frame 18 for a hitbox, and like. That's the type of thing where, like, you cannot normally react to that unless there's some kind of tell for it prior to it, or, like, you can predict that's gonna come because they sometimes do it as a mix-up. It's those sort of things you have to be aware of when designing these bosses. Um, but yeah, if you get hit by this, uh, you're dead. <laughs> you know, once I can actually get it functioning how I want it to, of course. It's sad because I would kind of like a really subtle drag up too, but this game does not like adhering to my wishes. It's like right there is the problem. I think the, I think like a few will hit. Yeah, like two of them are hitting, but then right here is where it's not hitting. So I wonder if I should just add one... Maybe I should make the last one last longer. I wonder if that's all it is. Let's try that. Oh. Oh. Hold up. Get in there. Okay. All right, Mr. Magic Man. Okay, 114. All right, 114. Does it still connect on 114? Yes, it does. Okay, so now we just need just need a slight extender to that, nothing too strong. She was in the orb there for a moment. Okay, now I just have to make the player stall there. With uh, more like weak hitboxes that don't really send anywhere. Okay, okay, this is good. This is good, this is good. This is good. Because each weak hitbox in this game will slightly elevate you because of just how this game works. So that means we can get away with doing other shit. Um. Try like some of that initial launch to actually work. Okay. 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 Camera's actually making this a bit more difficult than it needs to be, but whatever. Alright, well this is a surprise. Let's see some Project Octave progress even in stream form. Hey, Zebo, How's it going? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna start taking streaming more seriously, actually. Okay, is this slightly pushing her away? Maybe. 
Fuck, I have to remain locked on for this fucking thing. Alright, whatever. Um... Okay. Slightly space out some of this shit now. Uh, it's pushing them away, fuck. No, that's fine. Um, we can just add one on here that pulls them closer again. Gotta worry about the count after this, by the way. Cool. I think that's it. Hello, Daily Dose of Twitter. How's it going? You know, maybe I don't need to make this more complicated than it has to be. Um, if I change the weak hitboxes to this, I'm pretty sure this one doesn't send anywhere. Try that first. I want you against the wall. Okay, is that pushing them further away? No, okay. 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 Now we'll just need a finishing blow there, and that would be completely fucking solid. So that's gonna happen around, uh, I think frame 170, so... Cue it up on like 169. Doing good, probably won't stick around long, but I can't resist peeking in at my most anticipated game products. Seriously, can't wait for this mod, looks so good. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, hey, like I said, modding is a passion project, so once you care, uh, you, you, you'll, you'll, be doing some you'll be doing some crazy shit if you, like, love something, whether it's, like, a game or a person. <laughs> Don't use Twitter ever, true social better, JK Reddit is better. Uh, my, my hot take, don't use social media. <laughs> like, the only, the only reason you should really use it from a pragmatic perspective is just for business. It's like a pretty square boss. Uh, depends on, depends on what variation of Depends on what time frame of Square Enix we're talking here. That that's a compliment or an insult. <laughs> Alright. I think this will probably kill. So fuck it. Alright. God, that's so cool. Even if I can't mimic it exactly how it is in BBS, uh, this this is fucking sick. The camera really fucking likes jerking back as soon as he goes up into the air like that. Fuck, slightly out of range. Okay. Okay. 
Just can't think of another guy to spell. Ah, right. His name is Square. Right. I always forget that. <laughs> Which is odd because I never forget that Yen Sid is Disney. Are the hitboxes in between necessary? Uh, yes, to keep um, to keep the player locked into the orb. Because otherwise the boss or Otherwise, you know, you're just gonna fall out of this. Because he takes a long time to charge it up because Burp by Sleep animations are really dramatic. Um, which is why uh, not you brought up. I need to I need to keep the chains going on this. Um, do I have them set to on player? Yes I do. Okay. So now I just gotta make this uh, look good, look proper. By keeping those chain effects going. Alright, then we need to copy this one. As long as I don't fuck it up, we should be good. Alright. Do thing. Yeah. There we go. I feel like I should add another root hitbox there, honestly. Now that I'm not launching them immediately. Hey, Ruka, what's going on? Just uh, doing stuff with this boss here. This, uh, this crazy guy. Okay, this hitbox doesn't send anywhere. So let's go ahead and utilize that. I actually have to observe that just to be sure, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't send anywhere. Yes, okay, perfect. Now, be honest, right? You get hit with this attack. Like, god damn. Can you even be mad that you die to something as fucking sick as that? Hello, Chase. I'm doing great because I just finished this attack. Let's see. How long did this take me for this one attack? Uh, we started streaming 98 minutes ago. Alright, <laughs> nice. Alright, we, we got one attack done so far. <laughs> Let's go! The anagrams remind me, still nobody knows the real name of Demix and Luxord. Uh... Yeah, that's true. For some reason I get the feeling like they'll be like, oh Luxord, uh he's Lord. The U is silent. Alright. I'm gonna add I need to add like sound effects to this now. Which shouldn't be too hard considering Uh it's pretty established sound for this. Um Master Form Disaster, yeah, okay. Nine and nine to twenty. <laughs> oh, as fun as it was, I freaking sleep now. <laughs> as fun as it was for like two minutes, you're sleeping now. All right, we'll sleep well. Made mead and lord. Yeah, I guess I could just do that too. Yeah, I could just go with the default shit. <laughs> am I playing as the boss right now? Yes, I am. Uh, you can... 
can manually control him to do stupid shit like that. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I mean, those sound effects work. Okay. Uh, fuck you, YouTube. Play my music. All right. Then, uh, let's see. Ain't no way I can make the coloring that dynamic between then and now, but... I do like the, the fire in there. How many hits is this attack? Uh, good question. Um, well, assuming it doesn't miss... Um, one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Putting armor of Ericus into two of them, yes, sirree, this is gonna be one of the super duper post game bosses. I'm gonna have a lot of fun dying to this boss. Oh, yeah, you will. You know, I haven't even rouletted, like, all the fucking attacks this boss can- You know, hold on, hold on. You, you guys watched me edit this one attack for, for all this fucking time, so let me give you the treat, alright? Let me give you the content with this, with this motherfucker, okay? You wanna see some real shit? Let me show you some real shit, okay? Just gotta make him rotate properly. Alright, here you go. <laughs> That's one move, by the way. Let me give you guys some more shit, okay? Because I've been working on this guy for a while. Look at this. Let me cancel this. Alright. Uh, can I get you out of the corner by chance? No? Okay, well, whatever. Alright, real shit. Here we go. <laughs> I think I need to make him rotate, actually. Did I forget to do that? I did. I'm smart. But, yeah. I think you guys get the idea. This guy is fucking insane. Also, if you think that's an excessive amount of effects on that at on that attack, uh, no, that's just actually how fast he attacks during that. All right, we're gonna frame by frame this shit for you all, because I know there's some someone's thinking that's that's way too many attack uh, effects. There's no way he attacks that fast. No, 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 no. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, pauses for a bit, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Now count if you can. I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. Don't, don't actually even try to count this shit. All right. Like, yeah, this is the Ericus, like, Ericus is worked retail and then didn't have to do the hard aisles, but he's on, like, three energy drinks. That's, that's what this attack is, okay? Uh, let's see, okay. I 
Uh, don't don't worry. We're not we're not done. We're not even close to being done. All right. Let me uh, let me do this again. The fucking rotation. Rotation's always a pain. Oh, this one already has it. Okay. Why in frame one? Or negative one means it lasts the whole animation. All right, here you go. Oh my god, we might get her out of the corner. Hold up. Let's. Go. Oh no, 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 no! Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Anyways, yeah, this this boss is on fucking crack, and uh, you know this is just kind of these are just you know these typical things that uh, one can do, or rather, what he can do. <laughs> this guy is the speed dude like he fucking I, I don't know what they were on when they were making this guy but like he's he, he's a crackhead there's just no other way to put it um oh yeah and here's the uh here's the aqua inspired one cause that was that was like Terra and then some other crazy shit and then Ventus and uh, now this is the one <laughs> based on based on Aqua. Uh, here we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot to make it rotate. Shit. There you go. No problem. Uh, three try. Here we go. Why aren't you rotating? Oh, because I put it on the wrong one. Duh. I'm smart. Don't worry. Totally smart. Okay, there we go. He's insane! Makes Sonic look like he's going slow. That is true, honestly. <sighs> yeah, man. That's just like that's just all the combo shit, right? Like it's not just all combos that, either. All right, let me show you. Let me show you guys some of the magic. All right, because he's got that too. Cause you know he needs it. Walks like a slowpoke, though. Oh, don't worry, he'll dash at you. Like, the dashing will be predictable. It's what he does after that you have to, like, kind of react to. You know, like this. He sure can. Like he'll he'll have idle times, don't get me wrong, but uh he he can very much dash at you. Uh, let's see, what's this? Yeah, oh, right. Um Oh, oh yeah 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 yeah. Dude, you got you guys are ready for this shit, okay? I'm so I'm so happy I got this uh, working, okay? So he's gonna so he's gonna have like a little sequence, right? Where he uh, where he like kind of elevates himself above the ground from doing this. He'll spawn that thing behind him, okay? So what do you think he's gonna do with that fucking thing? All right? It's what what do you think is about to happen? <sighs> fucking tell you. Rather, I'll show you. Okay, here we go. Boom, bitch! Get the fuck out of here! He's got fucking lasers!
Oh yeah, then I love this one, okay? Hold on. Fuck. And he's gonna do that to you multiple times, by the way. That's not like, oh, I fell, I fell, fall of one laser. Oh, that's good enough. Thanks, Project Nobody May Cry. Alright. Do you think that's, you think that's it? No, look at this shit, okay? So, so that might look weird from this perspective, but what that literally is, is that's targeting, like, directly where the player is visible by the camera, and it's fucking smiting them with a laser below. So, like, if you don't react to this in time, you're dead, bitch! Yeah, yeah, it's using the camera to track where you are, and it's fucking smiting you. You even took points in Paladin? Yeah, dude. The only thing this guy's missing is, like, fucking consecration. Just cover the ground fucking holy... holy light or whatever. Can I iframe it? Uh... You probably would have to reflect this, I'm not sure. Uh, no, actually, you could iframe this. I'm thinking about making this boss a real dickhead, where he'll, like, slow down sometimes, just as to, to mix you up before he fires shit like that laser. <laughs> but yeah, so... So yeah, this dude's got fucking lasers. I think Zad didn't think about whether he's be able- Look, that, com that comes after we make all the attacks, okay? My design- My design is I'm gonna make this guy have really fucking cool shit, and then we'll work out how to balance it via AI sequences later. And yeah, you can reflect it. <laughs> you can beat the light with the light. This will really make me remember Burp I Sue because I'll have to dodge. Yeah, there are some stuff you're gonna have to, like, you know, evade and dodge or reflect if you're a pansy, but yeah, uh, stuff, because there's plenty of stuff in this mod that goes through your guard. Like, it's not just this guy. Like, there are things you can guard through, like fucking Larkseen's DM, but then there's just other shit that's not gonna be so, ge be so generous with you. Um, hold on. So, you got you guys like the lasers, right? You guys like the lasers? Alright. Well, he's got more lasers. Alright, he's got a lot of lasers for you. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> he's got lasers. I like how quiet this entire chat got once I showed that. You're all just you're all just like, what the fuck? <laughs> are those attacks all imported with hitboxes, etc.? The only things that are imported are um, are two things on this. So um, there's uh, there's the animations, obviously, uh, and then there's uh, little visual effects like. Um, like those, like those chains right there. Um, so the actual visual with the chains, um, those are like directly from like a BBS texture file, and then like I recolored them to look uh, more fitting in this game. And those are the only things that have been imported. Everything aside from that, I. Uh, I take existing effects from Cage 2 
and sometimes cage one and rechain of memories and I repurpose them in a way that makes them feel unique to the boss. Hello, noble wind mage. How's it going? Anyway, so I got I got more shit to show you guys. All right. Um. He has he has some basic he has some more like basic attacks as well, but uh, we'll go through we'll go through those a bit. Um. So here's here's a animation that really amused me. Um. This. This attack. <laughs> I love this attack. Um. Honestly, I just love everything about this boss in terms of like how he's animated and shit, and what I've done with him. Like God, it working with these bosses, you you understand how much fucking miss potential there is in Perfectly. But anyways, so that's what I call uh, internally. I have that named Pimp because this is quite literally just a fucking pimp slap. Like, look at how this shit is animated. Uh, he just like, he just like slaps the keyblade, right? But like as you saw from the get, like he just, just a little slap, get him out of here. But like as you saw in game, like he goes pretty far with that too. Well, lingering will still be in this. Oh yeah, you, you fight lingering will. I'm not gonna remove lingering will. That's like one of the best bosses ever made. Okay, I need to head out. Nice catching a stream and seeing how things are going. Have a good one, everyone. All right, later, spooky. Have a good day. Going good is Godly from Discord lol. Godly from this Oh yeah yeah okay. When are you gonna change your, your name to Godly Wind Mage then so I remember? Because my memory sucks. Uh here's here's another one. So So I really like I really like this one. Um I'm gonna be a fucking broken record every I swear to god, but so here we go. He'll like use the chains from his hand to like pull you closer. Can that sounds sick, eh? Hey, there you go. No need to credit me. Just, just do it and I'll remember easier. Yeah, the chain. Yeah, I'm gonna go to loving the work you never know some the products you've done. Can't wait to get my hands on it. Alright, man, you, uh, you have a great day. Uh, more on the chains, by the way, because uh, this is probably one of the strangest looking attacks you'll ever see in a mod, but I like it. So, check this out. Thanks for auditory cues. Oh yeah, no problem. The sound, so I, the sound design is very important to me with bosses, but it's especially important for a boss that does not talk. Too angular? Yeah, that's the point. It's supposed to look really fucking bizarre. It, that was also one of the hardest attacks to actually visually make because of how this game works, but like, it's basically tracking the movement of his Keyblade specifically, and like, trying to follow it. Venora like that much of chains. Dude, just replace with all belts and you've got like, Nemora's fucking wet dream. He has fucking paradise. Anyways, yeah. Yeah, that was one of the weirdest attacks to make. There's a lot of there's a lot of really really cool shit with this boss. But also like, yeah, there's a Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. More shit. You think I'm done? It's never done. Ever. Ever. That's why I like sewer bosses, cause it's just the it's just the time to go fucking insane. Anyways, uh Yeah, you 
like that shit? Because I like that shit. That shit's fucking cool. God, I love this fucking game. I love, I love modding this game when everything comes together. Like, it just... God, it's so fucking cool, dude. Guess the engine has limits. It does have limits, but if you learn how to play around shit, you can do really cool shit like this. Also, I just love how when you're playing as these bosses, you can cancel this shield jump and you can do dumb shit like this. <laughs> Yeehaw, brother. Get the fuck out of here. How would old Vanitas Zadgx react to this mod? Uh, probably... Wow, I fucking suck at modding. I... I've been doing this my whole life and I can't even do shit nearly close to this. I should just off myself right now. Because I was, uh, that was a really, <laughs> a really depressed loser. Alright? I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. But, uh, yeah, no, this shit's, uh, yeah, I couldn't imagine doing shit like this back then. Uh, there weren't nearly as many tools either. Yeah, we're back to the fucking corner. I have to figure that one out eventually, but uh, yeah. I think there's uh, I think I got like one other. Oh wait, no, no, no. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna piss you guys off without saying a word. Okay, you ready? <laughs> hey animated gamer uh oh you changed your name he used to be called something else i'm pretty sure uh yeah uh what's good is this boss that's what's good talk about tools how's open cage team uh i don't really i don't know much about what the open cage specific people are doing nowadays That's enough wind up, I assume you could cancel it, but yikes. Yeah, it's gonna be an attack you can interrupt. Like it's it's one of the freest punished windows ever if you see it coming. You've got uh let's see. Let's I'm gonna give you guys the frame data on this, alright? You have 165 frames to react to this. If uh you don't react to it in that time, uh he's gonna He's gonna heal himself for some of his damage. However, I should add a I should actually add an audio cue to that now that I'm looking at it. I think I forgot to do so, so let's fix that. Uh alright. God, why is my nose getting stopped up? Plenty of time. Plenty. Right. <laughs> See, I knew I could piss you guys off without saying a word. I show you all that. I can show you all that cool shit, and then in an instant, just God damn it, he has a cure. <laughs> all right, where did I list the sound effects? Um, Let's try that. Um, plenty, unless he pushes you off. Yeah, uh, 
So I know VBS liked to do this thing where you would attempt to attack him and he would just randomly just say no, parry you, and then slash you back. Uh, this boss is not going to do that shit. If you, if you earn your punish window, then you earn your punish window. There is no need to elaborate upon that design philosophy further or throw random bullshit at you for trying to for daring to try and fight the boss. If you if you get the stagger, you've got it. Combo the fuck out of him. Knock 200 I'm going to say ping off for pure reaction, not for realizing what he's doing, not enough time left to close the gap. You'll figure it out. Yeah, I should. Yeah, I should also mention this is like gonna be in a roulette of random, of random things he can use. Like he's going to, like for the major shit this boss is gonna do, he will have like tells, and then for shit like this, it's probably gonna be mixed into like a system of, you know, okay, what minor attacks can I throw in here? This being one of them, you know, quote unquote attack, and uh, it's not gonna heal him for like his whole health bar. Like that'd just be stupid. Uh, I would probably give him like a bar of health back because that's basically like one or two combos, depending on what the player is hitting him with. I don't know. It's not, it's one of those things I'll have to play around with. Uh, Let's see, do this. Hmm. That could be decent, I guess. Hmm, what about the ones that are always in the room? <laughs> Information pop-up sound. <laughs> that sound like again? I don't remember what some of these actually sound like. Layer, layer Neku123. You have a good day. Is he gonna have invincibility while he heals? That'd be broken. <laughs> really funny thought, but no, I'm not that much of a prick. Uh, if you see him charging up the heal and you, and you, you know, react within like 165 frames, uh, you can both stagger him and interrupt the heal before it goes off. Let's try to do this. That's noticeable. What about this? Going through audio cues. <coughs> that can be good. Not very fitting to him, though. See my problem. You know, I actually like the previous sound. Yeah, fuck it. There, there's your cue, audio cue. Halfway through the fight, puts on leaf research. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that'd be funny. Just have an information prompt show up that's just like. 
the armor of the master equip leaf bracer also would you consider this the hardest super boss in this mod um he's comparatively to what i have coded already he will probably be the hardest but he's not going to be the hardest once I finished all of them. Anyways, yeah. Okay, cool. Auto queue. Nice, awesome. I should save my moveset file. I haven't done that since like the start of the stream. I'm too busy getting distracted by talking to all of you great people who are sitting here and watching this. Scary. Oh yeah, you know, pretty much a lot of my bosses uh, have the intentional intimidation factor to them. Like I want these boss. I the the learning curve for a lot of shit really is just like, okay, I'm scared as fuck. I need to figure out what this guy is doing and not let my fear control me here. All right, wait a minute. This is actually easy. Fuck him. I had trouble with the early Aqua boss fights. Oh yeah, dude, dude, the Aqua boss fights—they—they they are some of my favorite highlights of this mod. I love—I pretty much love every custom boss that I've sat down and have been able to like code custom sequences for when all is said and done. But the scar, though. <laughs> I hear I hear a lot of shit about Scar. It's kind of funny. Love all the videos on Smod so much. Julie Madeline, I believe is how you say your name. Uh, I love all the support these videos get on this mod because it's really nice just to be able to do something I enjoy and have people actually, you know, supporting it. Whether it's through like just watching, giving positive reception, or just like Patreon shit or whatever. If that's the sort of thing that could become sustainable in my life, that's the fucking dream right there. Oh, yeah, there's one more basic attack he has, I believe, and I think that's all of them that I have, uh, you know, visually and visually made for now, along with hitboxes and shit. Where's the boss? Oh, right, in the corner. Nice. All right, um, right, reset. See, look at that. He doesn't always do like a 28 combo. Sometimes he just wants to, you know, hit you with the sword a few times and be like, yeah, that's fine. Unless I decide to make him link it into other stuff, which knowing me, I probably will. Uh, what other stuff is there? Oh yeah, that's not coded yet. Oh, that's gonna be the tough part, is programming certain stuff like that. Alright. So with that in mind, I did the execute, so what else should I do now? Oh, uh, I think I did all the power up effects, right? Oh yeah, so let me show you what else I've got for this guy. So like I told you guys, there would be tails, and uh, I'm not a liar, okay? I may be a sarcastic bastard half the time, all the time, but uh, I do take I do take these bosses very seriously. I'll have you know. So they'll have like little windups and shit like this. So like, there's that. Um, where's the other stuff? I think it's above actually. Just so much stuff, man. It's hard to keep track. 
Alright, here we go. Then we got this. Hey, remember the orb from earlier? Yeah. So he's got that. Is it a little tail of some sort? He's got this. If you can guess what all this color-coded stuff means, then good for you. Gonna get some ramen? Ooh. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty delicious. He's gonna use all three. He's a gamer. He's a god. I need to figure out something for this attack. Um. I should do. Should probably go through all of his effects again. Anyways, enough showing off. I need to actually get more shit done for this boss. Maybe I'll just make him use the lasers in a really interesting pattern for that attack. Hmm. I'm pretty sure in actual BBS he like sends out a fucking tornado or something, but I don't really feel like doing that. Whoops, problem. I'm I'm the type of guy, you know, I just like to take some random creative liberties. And, uh, take them, I shall. that effect I used before. Lights. Hello laser. Oh, is it just is it actually just twenty six? Okay.
Okay, ideas are coming into my head. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this. We're gonna make this another laser attack. Why? Because lasers are cool. That's why. Oh, this boss is going to be so difficult to program. What I've been envisioning in my head might not be very feasible, but I want to have like laser patterns for him. <laughs> Welcome back, noble wind mage. Alright, so I want to position this. Uh, let's see. Right there, I think. Yeah, cool. Twenty six. Yeehaw. So, right now, what I'm doing is I'm setting up the uh, the visual effects in a location where uh, he's gonna fire lasers from those things so we're in the uh, we're in the setup phase here always uh, one of the more boring parts of this stuff I would say the real fun is when you can you know actually launch it as an attack Hello, Relius Kaiser. How's it going? Alright. So we got that working. Which means now we're going to need to position lasers. They're going uh, directly out of those, I believe. This one? Yeah, there we go. Okay. This is going to be so dramatic. I'm going to love every moment of it. Yeah, I haven't uh, I haven't streamed in quite a while. Just woke up, took a swig of orange juice, and then saw a the stream. I'm doing all right. Glad my hand isn't stiff anymore. Hey, nice man. Glad your hand's feeling better. Yeah, I've been drinking a lot of orange juice recently. It's delicious. Alright, 
So these should appear at around... I'd say like frame 25 is pretty good. Uh, here we go, here we go, 179, 178. Oh, I love, love this song. If you guys have never played Lord of the Rings Online, it's got such nice music. Moist Cranberry is good too. Oh, the limits of... I, I have a limited perception of what juice I'd like to try. Uh, because I've been working I've been stalking the juice aisle of this retail store overnight, and uh, holy fuck, I hate lifting juice, dude. <laughs> oh, I have to put on testing game. Alright. I have a, uh, I have a friend who is, <clears throat> I won't say addicted, but fairly, uh, play, plays MapleStory quite a lot. <laughs> to the side. I'll turn you around so we can see that. You recently picked up a new character you instantly fell in love with and my left hand has been at war with me ever since. <sighs> That's what, uh, so what having too much too much enjoyment in life gets you. There has to be a balance of inconvenience. Maybe I should have those lasers come out. Let's try like five frames later. Very cool. You convenience carpal tunnel? Yeah, man. You gotta be careful with that shit. You gotta give yourself breaks when you need them. Also, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of, uh, Doki Doki Exic Music Redux, but uh, 10 out of fucking 10 story should should uh, should listen to or watch or whatever read yeah read do some reading we don't 
We don't always play video games here. We gotta read, too. Alright, speaking of... Speaking of this shit, I gotta figure out how to rotate this stuff now to aim better. Maybe if I just... Oops. If I view it from this angle, that would be easier. Um... This one, no, this one should be, yeah. You're gonna now see, see a noble wind mage, see a godly. Don't be too much of a god out there now. Say some epic gamer moments for the rest of us. Fucking laser extravaganza out here. <laughs> Let's go! Video games! Video gaming, dude. I need that out. Right, we have to start testing this a little more in depth, but. Rotation is going to have to be done very strictly for this attack, but it's workable. Grind some more, like go more carpal tunnel. Hell yeah, dude. Fuck health. You gotta play video games. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. That's what we like to see. Uh, what else can we do now with this attack?
Oh, I see. I don't have no gravity on this. That's why. Mm -hmm. Okay. Be a cool follow up to this attack. Thinking how I want to position these lasers is the trickiest part, I feel. Want to draw some of the things you want to do? Man, I can never, uh, I can never figure out how to draw well on my own. It's, uh, it's impressive what artists are able to do. It really is. Get a little bit of style points on each jumps, why not? Took a long time to figure out. I'm still amateur level, but I can do basic anatomy and stuff. So my art doesn't look so bad. I just need to flesh out my own stuff before I can be an intermediate level artist. That requires I draw more. Oh, good luck, man. It's, uh, it's very difficult to be an artist, from what I can tell. I guess, why not? Style points. Can you jump frame 183? Okay. It's just like it's hard to be a game deve developer. Yeah, man. If something is easy to achieve, then it's probably not worth it to begin with. But the stuff you have to really work for, you know, once you once you get it, that's uh, that's when you really feel accomplished. Link some of my art if I could. Can you not post links in YouTube stream chats?
Just try not to if operation might come off as rude. Oh, you're fine, dude. I don't, I don't care if you want to like, if you want to hang out and chat, and then just be, and then at some point just be like, by the way, I make some really cool, cool art. Would you mind, would you mind checking it out? Or rate, rate my art or whatever. Or like, I'm really proud of this. I just want to show it off. Like, dude, I don't, I don't care, man. I'm fucking, I'm a fucking game developer. I'm all about showing off creative shit. But if you're gonna post stuff, I would recommend that you watermark it. Like, you put a watermark on the stuff that you post publicly first. Because, you know... I'm, sh I'm sure all the people here are nice, but you never know if someone wants to, like, steal something. You know? So. Just exercise caution if you want to do shit like that. But, yeah, I don't really care if you want to do it. Get this out of the way. Let's have the fucking laser hitboxes first. Oh boy. This, this is definitely gonna be such a... This is like, this is the, the type of attack where it's just like, yeah, you're just flexing at this point. It's hard to really think of ways to convey that off the top of my head though. Wish I had enough time in my life to do more creative stuff. I really want to do more writing, but working two jobs really drains me most of the time. I would not suggest looking into the rest of my galleries. It could be not safe for work. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the, <laughs> the thing about being an artist is that most of the money really is in being not safe for work. Because, like, let's be honest here, like, pretty much everyone in the fucking universe at this point is looking at pornography, right? And, you know, some people will look at videos, other people will look at, like, will look at images, and, uh... People pay for that shit, man. They really do. Wow, a bot showed up as soon as I uttered that. This is just... That's how you know YouTube is just completely fucked. Reports... Where's... Yeah, there we go. Spam. Get out of here. 
fucking bots. SFW is so easy to get money from? Yeah, man. I mean, hey, if you want to sell, if you want to sell your artistic soul, you know, it is, it is a money machine. Like, it's not the be-all, end-all, but, like, you know, randomly it'll just be like, hey, can you draw this? Give you, like, $80. Oh, sure. That's $80 right there, man. Just, you know, drawing. Using your talents. Perhaps not in the most fulfilling way by any means necessary, but hey. Someone did with my link. Wait, you should put a leg up. Yeah, I didn't see a link either. Did it actually just limit links? Wow, dude, YouTube sucks. I guess it is to prevent. Spam. I'm gonna post at the end. Yeah, it's not on here. I guess you just—I guess you just have to say like what what your profile is on wherever. And there you go. Um, let's see. So I think I want him to shoot late so he's again like right before he shoots. Same everywhere? Yeah, there you go. 180. Uh, oh wait, is that where he's about to jump? Yeah, fuck okay. it. He's gonna have him fire the lasers again, fuck it. We're gonna, get, we're gonna get a little lazy with this, but it's fine. All hacks. Uh, you know what? Mate, so what if I am? What are you gonna do about it, huh? Are you gonna stop the Kingdom Hearts 2 file mix water? Can you even do such a thing? Alright, laser time again. Fucking lasers, bitch! Yeah, why isn't this one hitting? Oh, it's because I... Did I move the hitbox? It's duplicating it? I'm, a, I'm an idiot. No wonder. Okay. Let's fix that up then. First result was a Twitter user with your name and it was pretty explicit on that. Dude, he's selling his soul for money, okay? It's how artists gotta make it in this world. Have them shoot further. <laughs> I 
Hey, some artists saying it's selling their soul. My ex started drawing porn because she deeply wished for it. I don't know, man. I just, I can't imagine a life of only, of just, like, doing that. It's like, just all you're doing, man. Like, I want to develop something fucking cool. I don't want to just, I wouldn't want to just draw porn. But you know what? That's why I'm not an NSFW artist. I'm a fucking SFW game developer. What's up, AD? I'm, I'm working on this, this cool boss guy here. I can figure these attacks how I want them. So I think what I want to do is... Fuck it. Here we go. We'll just just make him shoot a little lower, I guess. I don't know. Why not? And this guy shoots fucking lasers, among all the other crazy shit he, he does. This is how you make bosses? Expect to play through from you when the project is out? Fuck yeah, dude. I love watching people play through my shit, man. It's great content, whether they're enjoying it or they're fucking raging at it. <laughs> saw some Vanius Rage. I, I saw some Vanius Rage video a while back. I think they do what stuck on Demix and God, uh, I was so entertained by that shit. What if I make it so these slightly, like, not there yet? And then that was what? This, this, 186. And yeah, the way I make bosses is I, I basically remote control them and then I just swap out things that I want them to attack with. You just have a recording being stuck on Demix somewhere. Let's go! You know, it's actually kind of funny. Uh, so, a couple of people who played it were like, Dude, Demix is my favorite fight. You know, he's a little easy, I, I almost feel like, but man, I love what you did with him. And then and then there's others just like, I fucking hate Demix. Fuck this piece of shit. How could anyone make this? Fuck that. And then they finally beat him, and then they see the checkpoint, and they're just like, Oh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Hmm, I wonder. What would it would be if I did this? I love the Demix fight to be honest till the day I did my first level 1 run. Yeah man. He he's not meant to be a pushover, he's meant to make you fucking think. You can't just rush you can't just rush in all willy-nilly, expect it to go well. Well actually you can if you if you know the ways to, to do it, but yeah, fucking Venetus man, it's uh Ven Venetus is uh all aggression, not too much defense. It's the biggest wall for you until final Zimnus. Interesting. <laughs> Do we have any Scar aficionados in this chat? Is that, I, I know Scar is also one people rage at quite a bit. <laughs> Do 
Oh, you mean base case shield? Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm gonna send you new artwork later on. Wanna see what you think? Alright, sounds cool. Scar's a badass fight? Dude, that's what I'm saying, man. Finally, someone's speaking my language in here, man. He's like the only Disney boss in this fucking game that actually puts up a real fight. I think Scar's a little weird dude being for Lion Sora, but he's not bad at all. That's what I'm saying, man. Scar's sick. You know what? Fuck it. Here's what we're gonna do. Final, final fucking flex during this move. Um, Yeah, Lion Sword really is uh, quite the quite the dude. Like this guy just shows up. He can start. He can drift later on. The guy has infinite reflect. He can hell. He can short hop into the air and reflect to get back down. Then just do whatever he wants while he's invincible. Man's got crazy speed. He does everything Simba does, but better. And then he can just. They can just do that fucking running tackle shit. And he's got like that. If you put on like Fatal Crest or like. Like you just have Berserk Charge on basically. And you do that air attack, dude. Ground Shaker gets shredded. I don't even like that fight, but goddamn. He can shred his HP. I don't know if Scar was so doable as me. I should just Blizzard and Square Attack to break his guard among other things. See, that's, see, there you go, man. You're a thinking man. You're a thinker. You're like, wow, the magic in this mod's kind of upgraded. Let's make use of that. And there you go. You get rewarded for it. That's why I see people skip Pride Lands and Cage 2. Scar's literally right there. I'm telling you, man. Hey, guys, I don't know if you remember me. We used to talk a while back. Front gave me his old PC, and I can run Venice mod now. I'll be, it's only on 30 FPS, but it runs smooth. Hey, there you go. And yeah, I do. And yeah, I remember talking a few while back uh, about stuff that you know. I'll I'll repeat your personal matters uh, on stream, but yeah, no, I remember you, Mr. Dante. It's cool that you can play the mod though, even if it's not in like 60, where the combos are most optimal. But yeah, it's cool. My old Discord got banned, so I gotta find you again and add you. Oh damn. How'd you get banned from Discord? <laughs> so that's legit why I have a game PC right now. Damn, dude. Uh, sorry for sorry for the financial expense. Hope it ends up worth it once I'm done with all this. I want this dude to do something fucking crazy towards the end of this, because he's charging up for a while, but I need it to also just make sense. Ah, uh, the limitations of this game didn't exist, man. Fuck, what do I do with this? I don't know if you remember helping me select hardware. I do vaguely remember that, yeah. I 
All right, boys. I'm gonna show you another modding tool we use for shit like this, cause why not? So the neat part about Noasis is that you can actually uh, preview uh, models like this, and you can get the, uh, the little bone structure. Now this is actually uh, deceptively useful when you're doing visual effects because you can view the bones and see which, which value corresponds to which. So then we can adhere effects to shit like, say, his hands. I think his I think his left hand is what he uses when he tosses shit down, right? Uh, no, that's his. Uh, that's gonna be his. That's his keyblade hand, isn't it? Um, it's actually really hard to tell from this angle. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Right hand. Cool. In that case, scroll down here. I need to figure out which one of these is his hand and not his keyboard, though. I think it's this. You know, let me just make this simple by counting. One, two, three, four, five. It's the hand, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, 34. So there's a music selection mod implements in this project, right? Um, so, holy shit, there's actually a lot to read here. Hold on. I'm ignoring chat. I'm the worst streamer ever. I was just talking to friends who got hit with spam suspension. I, then they reinstated my account the 30 days before deletion, so basically screwed. Oh, nice. Yeah, Discord security fucking blows, man. Got a new name on Discord, so I'll let you know why I had you. Yeah, I got you, dude. Um, <sighs> yeah, it's, uh, I don't know if you remember it, but here, I'll just put it in. It's there if you, uh, if you want to add me again. Um, yeah, anyways, media selection is a thing in this. Um... So basically, there's a sound test portion of the tool. It's not going to work with when I'm on this debug version, but yeah, actually, it just well, it might not crash. Let's see. Okay. Let's try showing this. As soon as it loads. As soon as it loads. Yeah, okay. So, um, there would be like the sound test portion here. You click this and then you can just choose whatever song you want to play. Um, so, it's not going to play through here because I'm on like a test version for this, for this shit. But yeah, on release, on release versions, um, this, you can just select what song you want playing. Uh, it'll reset after every like room or every new encounter starts. And if you want to insert like actual custom music into it, it's literally just a file replacement. And like, and just putting some shit in the file, like a title and you know, the loop points, and that's it. So if you want to play like your Linkin Park over Roxas, Roxas' fight, so what I have, you can fucking go for it, dude. I go grab some food and donate plasma. I'll talk to you later. All right, man, have fun. Can recreate my favorite two thousands cage AMVs real time. You can, dude. Dude, you can recreate your fucking Family Guy Peter Griffin versus the Chicken AMVs.
want to see another Vanitas run? You know, I've been thinking about it just for fucking the content. It would be kind of funny if I just started streaming one day and just like, so today we're going to be playing the Vanitas mod. Fuck the Aqua mod. The absolute 180. Yeah, fuck Aqua, let's just cancel. Venice is way cooler. Alright, let me, uh, let me see. So I need to, what I need to do for this is I need to, um... First of all, figure out what effect I want to use. I just wanna, I just wanna do something cool. Sucks. Problem is, I've already done so much cool shit with this guy. It's hard to figure out what other cool shit I wanted to do at the end of this attack. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, that's the lightning charge. That's the lightning charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna use that. Okay, thirty-four. I could probably loot this effect too, actually. Neus Mod 2 has more effects this time. Fuck yeah. Wouldn't mind the watch be down for that. Recently ripped them off Tornado Step since no one else has. Oh, dude. Extracting this game is so fucking easy. You can get whatever resource you want from this game. Your mods are sick. Aw, oh, thanks, man. I try. Even though all I, look, all I see when I look at the Vanillas mod is just wasted potential. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. So he, he leaps up. Like around here. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. Let's copy this. Here we go. Uh, 28. Then we're gonna need a. We're gonna need like a. Maybe we don't need a sound for that. I don't know. I just realized I'm not even going to be able to see the visual effect playing on him. Because <laughs> the camera is not going to follow him. Actually, I can fix that by putting no gravity on him, so fuck it. Still not following him. Fuck you, you. Yeah, fuck it. We're just, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna. <sighs> I hate when this shit happens. All right, no problem, no problem. It's fine, it's fine. Matt, yeah, imagine hearing that. I feel the Venetius mod is as good as it could have been. Uh, well, for one, my design philosophy was weaker, and I was just more trying out shit rather than having a real plan in mind. Um, I mean, I still did that with some shit with Aqua, but. You know, with Vanitas, it was just like... While I did have, like, some design philosophy with it, there was, one, a lot more limitations on what I could do, what I was knowledgeable about, 
And then the other problem with it was simply that there just were less tools. Like this, this like fucking effects editor thing, and like like all this, you couldn't do this shit. You you didn't have this tool until like towards almost the very end of it. And because of that, um, all this shit that I'm doing now, I was doing in hex for Vanitas, and it would it could take upwards of like six hours to just change an effect the way that I wanted it to be, which is very draining. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out how to export animations. Uh, good question. Good question. I'm not the animation guy in my group. Um, when it comes to like custom animating and shit, so I don't know. I'll ask her. I'll have to ask around about that again. Anyways, yeah, the other thing with Vanitas is just um, yeah, because of the lack of of knowledge of like the lost shit, like what I'm doing now with like custom sequencing bosses and shit. Um, I didn't know how to do that for Vanitas either. So, like, the bosses suffered for it. Even though I do think that they they were all winnable, um, they definitely could have been a lot more enjoyable. So, it's a combination of limited knowledge on Vanitas, uh, or rather, like, how to make him function, plans going into it, because it was, like, the first thing of its time, and then just, you know, a limitation in how I could design shit. Like, there's still limitations with this shit that I'm doing right now. If you can fucking believe that as he's shooting out lasers, like, it's nothing. But it's not nearly to the to the extent that it was before. And that's kind of just... That's, that's, like, the biggest difference. Because, you know, you can have, like, a really fun moveset and shit, but if the content that you're going up against isn't, uh, like, really well done and it, it just feels unfair, then you're not actually going to have a good time the majority of when you're playing. And uh, that's that's why I feel Zero Drive to Mod Kingdom Hearts 3. Alright, so I gotta make him do... Huh, how am I going to do this? I would just do like a giant fucking bolt of lightning. Thirty six. Yeah, back when uh back when I was doing Vanitas, uh, you couldn't fucking dream of doing things as as insane as, you know, what I'm doing now. Hell, back then you couldn't even combine like different effect files together. You were stuck with one. Just just like, oh you're using um you're using Limit Sora's visual effects? Well, those are the only visual effects you get for this moveset, buddy. Or for this drive form. It makes me sad when everyone hates Cage 3. I liked it a lot, even if it definitely wasn't the love of Cage 2, and Scarn of Assemblage was super fun, in my opinion. Okay, so... I'm gonna, ref I'm gonna re rephrase my statement here. Because I agree with you on that. Um, the problem with KH3 is that KH3 Remind is better than KH3. <laughs> like, that's just how it is. Like, the bosses are, are way more in-depth. They're way more challenging. They're way better made. 
um, for that Garden of Assemblage stuff, and then you get to the actual game, and you've either got large bosses, which have always been the series' weak point, both in KH3 and KH2. Like, I'm not gonna defend KH2 on its large bosses, except for maybe, like, a couple, because, like, you know, most of KH2's problems come from shit like Genie Jafar and Ground Shaker, right? But, you know, even the ones that are more, like, spectacle fights in Cage 3, the problem is, like, that's all they fucking are, is those large bosses, and, like, I've always found that shit to be the weakest point in the series when it comes to, like, the actual interactivity between the player and the boss, because you don't feel the impact of any of the shit you're doing in large bosses, and the problem is they decided the entire first fucking act of the game, like, all that shit up to, like, when, like, like before you encounter, like, Aqua in the Realm of Darkness, all the fucking shit is large boss, like, except for Davy Jones, like, I, li when I was playing KH3, I popped the fuck off when I was actually fighting Davy Jones, because I'm like, yes, a fucking humanoid! And the funny part is, I hate that world because of the 300 crab shit. <laughs> You got food you can watch until you leave? Sick. Welcome back, Dante. Uh, but yeah, so like, and then like you get to, you know, the Aqua fight and like, then Aqua against Venice, and I'm like, damn, those, these are pretty good fights. And then like, you get to the next half of the game and all the bosses are nerfed, man! They're fucking nerfed! And then like, and then like, years later they release Critical Mode. And then it's like the other end of the extreme where it's just like, well, now the party members are dying in one hit. So now the difficulty is coming from the fact that you've got to worry about fucking Xemnas over here beating the shit out of you while off screen Ansem's going to put his fucking orb traps on you or some shit or like, or like dash at you and while young Xehanort fucking grapple hooks you or whatever. It's just like, okay, look, this fight's really fucking sick when your party members are alive, but when they're dying in two hits, suddenly it's the opposite end where like, sick, I'm fighting humanoid bosses, but now this is bullshit that's out of my control. And it's just like, you had it right there. Like the Norcor is fucking awesome if your party members are living dude like that that fight is amazing like really well done but then they re but then they they just missed the mark with stuff with, on the higher difficulties because they decided you know instead of just nerfing the damage that party members actually do the bosses they decided that party members should just die in two hits and then you know now all three of the bosses are going to be targeting you it's just like you know, when we do those mono fights in case 2FM where it's just like, yeah man, I'm gonna fight Zimnis, I'm gonna fight like final Zimnis, I'm gonna fight like, I don't know, Marluxia. That's fucking spectacle crazy modding bullshit that we opt into, right? It's not something we're forced into. We're just like, yeah, I wanna fuck around and find out today. But like when that's forced upon you in the in this game, with like three bosses targeting you. That's that that goes from being like haha fu funny fuckery going about to god damn it I can't win the game right now <laughs> cuz fucking Mickey's out in the corner <laughs> and Riku who by the way is a keyblade master but not Sora remember R Riku is the guy right main man cool cool head honcho uh yeah he's out in two hits Like, fuck, man, I want to kick Xemnas' ass with Riku again. Why are you dying in two hits? So, yeah. I feel like that's why I don't want to mod that game. This, uh... Yeah, actually, this is fine being that, I think. Um, I gotta stop this man from, like, looping this fucking thing. Uh... Oh, I know what I can do. Just that, right? No. Please. Okay, there we go. Um, so I need, like, a massive fucking effect. 
Nice. Woohoo. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's put some distance on that, actually. Let's go, like... Do you wonder what Sora's role is, then, if he's not suitable as the master? It's whatever Namor comes up with. Like, don't... Like I love Kingdom Hearts, but don't don't even try to f don't even try to figure out if there's a plot or not, because there really isn't. <laughs> see, like that sort of thing, it's it's fun to see like what Namora can come up with, but if you're actually you know trying to take it as like a legitimate story, uh, it it's not. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts plot uh, went from like, you know, actual coherence to just, you know, it, it's just anime shit. And like, nothing else really. I'm gonna, like, knock my glass over. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. Um, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna stop, like, observing this series. But, you know, it's, it's kind of undeniable that we lost the plot a long time ago. Honestly, they just made Graveyard a huge goal and a single boss fight should just change how much the other boss targeted you to be the coolest part of three. Yeah, it really would be. They had the, they had the setup there. I mean, fuck. This is this is what these games have been building towards with their stupid time travel bullshit. It, you gotta at least make the gameplay aspect of it fun because God knows the story doesn't make any sense. I think I know what I want this boss to do now. It's all coming together. Yeah, I don't know, man. The, uh... <laughs> you can just kind of tell Disney had their hands on this uh, game way more than they used to. They were like, no, you're gonna... You're gonna do Frozen the way we want to do it. You're not gonna... You're not gonna make, like, Lark scene actually do anything at all to the actual movie plot. One day I'll set this right, sets it right immediately. <laughs> Can you fucking believe Lingering Will died off screen? Like, no 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 no, I don't give a fuck about what Remind added, okay? When we saw that shit on release cage 3, Lingering Will shows up like the god that he is, and then he's gone. Just just dead off screen. That's the fucking Lingering Will! The guy that kicked my ass for like 200 times before I could even beat him once? You are not, you, like, you cannot tell me that Lingering Will 
first of all, canonically kicks this guy's ass in Birth by Sleep as soon as he shows up. He's just like, yeah, I hate this guy so fucking much. Um, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of him because I can. And then in Kingdom Hearts 3, yeah, whatever. Fucking lingering little dying off screen. What a sin. What a sin. You have so much to say about your grinding. Uh. <laughs> I have to choose what what video game do you value more maple story or kingdom hearts uh, all right so we'll do that and then we're gonna I think. Actually, let's we'll see the one up front first. This is gonna be really fucking tricky to pull off, but fuck it. What, what would it be if it wasn't me doing some dumb fucking shit that's super hard to pull off? It would not, it would not be what I am known for on this channel. Okay, so you got good for you when you're able to use the remind abilities. Yeah, but that's the thing. You get to use the Remind abilities, and then you get to go into the Remind Garden of Assemblage where the bosses are actually in depth. And you get to use it on those, too. See, like, things are being fixed at the same time here, you know? Which is, which again, is why I'm saying, like, they were so fucking close with the Norcork, you know? Like, they had, they have the baseline right there, and Remind proves they had the baseline right there. But, you know, they made Remind, then they didn't even go back and, like, you know, do something to make the other fights more enjoyable. They didn't even go through the rest of the game and gave it the damage scaling that they gave the, the data Remind fights. Like, at that point, that's just laziness, you know? Oh, dude, when I saw the uh, Stickman Sham video on uh, on the recoded uh, command deck and how it was falling together so well, I'm like, oh my god, I might have to actually play this game and get past all the minigame bullshit. No, wait. Problem. Uh, that would be 
Yeah, they fix the animations, but not the damage. See, that's what I mean, right? Like, at some point, you know, at some point, it's not like them being incapable of doing, of doing like a really good system. It's just flat out laziness. AAA games here is almost one fourth the minimum wage, and of course I had to buy it on release date. Damn, where are you working? <laughs> I'd love to get KH on PC, but I refuse to make an Epic account. Yeah, man. No. Just, uh, obtain it by other methods on the high seas. I mean, they got poor Royal in that game for a reason, surely. Well, I'm talking like post, like post remind, right? Like, you know, af it was clear they had a lot of time dedicated to just the remind content, but like they added in those abilities, and I'm pretty sure you can obtain them in the base game as well. But at that point, it's just like, okay, well, couldn't you just like port over the damage scaling algorithm then? They switch engines like a year. Yeah, they they switched from I think it was Luminous Engine. It was something like that. It's hard to tell because all these all these development issues from like Final Fantasy versus thirteen and Kingdom Hearts three kind of blend together in my head. What I'm saying, Le Leopard, is I don't think they're that dumb. I really don't. I think after Remind, they they know pretty damn well what they're doing, but like they're just told not to get it, not to dedicate time to certain aspects of these games. Because when they when these people put major focus on something like the Remind bosses, it's clear they're capable, like very capable. I don't think they're- I do not think they're stupid. I know the Unreal they use had like some kind of customization to it. Um, I don't know anything like in-depth about that because again I don't mod it, but... Yeah, apparently it's not like base Unreal Engine. Epic Games Store runs in Unreal 4. Interesting, I didn't know that. I guess it makes sense only because, you know, those are the guys that made Unreal Engine. They're gonna flex that until the end of time. Unreal Engine 5, huh? I don't know how much different Unreal Engine 5 is from 4, but uh, I hope to God doesn't cause development issues. 
It's a terrible resource, resource hauling for just storefront. Yeah, I believe it. Let's see, Mr. Frame Man. Why do you do this attack? Okay. Uh, yeah. Why not? from Leopard Gaming. <laughs> Leopard Gaming. Dude, I gotta be honest. When I first made this YouTube channel, I had like a lowercase name, which was just shameful to me. But I'm so glad that... <laughs> I'm so glad that when I was young, I didn't think that, like, putting gaming at the end of my fucking username sounded cool. Like, there's, there's a, there's a dark timeline where, like, where I was called, like, fuck, where I was called ZadGX Gaming, and thank god, it's not this timeline. <laughs> start calling you Leo instead. Hey, there you go. Clearly they were clearly they're trying to do you a favor. They care about you. <laughs> so, you know, good on them for being nice people. PC is fairly nice for a lot more than I expected. Hey, that's good. Mr. Flexer Man, Flex.
I had to move this man from this position because it is dropping frames like a motherfucker now. <laughs> His attacks are scary? Yeah, man, this dude don't fuck around. Alright. So... Uh, let's see... This one gonna have the ability to do 30 FPS as well. Uh, no. The reason the reason I like stop doing 30 FPS shit um, is because I was getting very annoyed back when I was making the Vanillas mod, um, where people would play on 30 FPS and then they start having all these like fucking crazy criticisms about how like how how awkward it felt to play the mod, and they, they wouldn't like clarify like, you know, oh, I'm not playing it how it was intended, but, so it's just like, you know, that kind of got to me, because it's just like, you know, you're really going to play it on a mode that I tell you specifically is not recommended, but then, you know, you're going to, you're going to shit talk all the work I put into that, like, I don't like being misrepresented like that. Uh, that being said, uh, just for you, Dante, I'll get you a personalized copy of the mod where you can play it on 30 FPS. <laughs> uh, it won't feel good. Well, as good as it should, I guess, but, you know, you'll be able to do it. Actually, the other issue, too, is that, um, on 30 FPS, like, I think it would break quite a few of my bots' sequences, so there's that as well. <laughs> so, like, it, it's not just, like, the player that would be adversely affected, it would be, like, quite a few of the custom bosses I've made. Because... I can tell you one of the things I do very intricately is test to make sure that if a boss is based around comboing you, that they can. There are very few times that'll slip up, even in a system that's actively trying to work against me. <laughs> yes, YouTube, I would like to continue listening to my music. Yeah, Vanessa was a bit jank in 30 FPS, I'm having tons of fun. See? That's what I that's my ultimate goal, man. I just want people to have fun, right? Like, I I'm totally cool if you like playing the mod 30 FPS, as long as you're not gonna like, you know, die to fucking Demix or whatever, like a combo drops or whatever, and then you're like, well, dude, this mod's fucking bullshit. Like, it's clearly untested. It's like, yeah, okay, dude. <laughs> See, I want people to have fun, but, I'm, but like, I'm sorry, anyone, any fucking developer that's been working on, that worked on something for over a year, and you just like, you misrepresent their work, and then you insult them for it, no one, including me, is gonna take that well. <laughs> like imagine an art piece that like someone took like a fucking, like, like six months of drawing, and then someone sees it, uh, but their computer brightness has like a weird, like they've changed their TV coloring, so the art piece just looks completely different. And then you're like, well, you know, it's clear the it's clear it's this guy's fault. He didn't put enough thought into it. It's Leah. Hey, there you go. Changed. I thought it was Leo though. But yeah, that uh, that got to me. You know, I won't lie. You know, kind of ticked me off a bit. So I'm just uh, I'm just avoiding that. See, like, 
Now, if you have a criticism of the Nia Swan 60 FPS, like you're playing it completely intended, and then you want to criticize it, dude, I fucking criticize that mod, okay? I'm cool with it. You do the same for Aqua, that's cool, I don't care. Just don't fucking misrepresent my work like that. <laughs> Started taking the funny blue pills a while back, so the name morphed over time. Lamau. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> well. Leo Leah. You know, I, I had a thought there, but then all I could think of was when I said that, I started thinking of the scene with Patrick where he's just saying, Leetle, 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 Lee. <laughs> How's the missus? Uh, the missus is alive, kicking, and well. I don't really talk about my personal shit all that much, so, like, I don't really elaborate on shit like that, but, yeah, no. It's cool. I am, I am funny inner internet modder man, and that's the way I like it. Was she, was she kicking? Uh, she's probably gonna be kicking this mod's ass whenever it's out. <laughs> okay, so I want these thunderbolts to go out a bit further. Let's see, how's this? Yeah, okay, that's good. Hey, Lamau. Funny internet man does it again. How does he do it? So I'm gonna be saying once this uh, once this visual is done. These ones are always a pain in the ass where I want to do something like dramatic, but I have to clone the same effect like 16 times to do it. <laughs> Wish Aqua was utilized more. At least we got 0 0.2 as janky as that is. Okay, hot take, hot take. You guys fucking ready for this? You guys ready? 0 0.2 is better than base cage 3. Like, release cage 3, okay? And the reason for this is, one, the story and the setting are actually taking themselves seriously. Two, Zodiac Aqua, like, the, the secret boss version of her, is better than everything in base KH3 in terms of design. And yes, I'm including the Norcore despite me praising it earlier. Because, you know what Zodiac Aqua doesn't rely on? fucking having like three other Zodiac Aquas that are they're having AI functioning separately from the main one relying on your party members being alive to work yeah, 0.2 is like a real plot where they forego like all the dumb bullshit with like Sora Sora friendship speech number 5000 woohoo anime protag shit and then it's just like an actual story of, wow, I'm trapped in hell. Life kind of fucking sucks. And I'm going crazy. And then it fucking plays into that shit by making like, the game, the gameplay plays into the story. And like, it enhances it when you encounter like the Zodiac Aqua on like, or, or like, sorry, right, like the regular Phantom Aqua on like phase three, I think. And she just starts calling herself just to tr just to fucking echo all of her doubts like that's such a great example of gameplay being used to to polish up the story and like communicate with it to the player like that shit is so cool and the fact that it's all based around mirrors and hallucinations and the fact that her own reflection like she like she basically says verbatim like her own reflection wants to destroy her like dude it's literally fighting demons it's actual symbolism in these fucking games why don't they do more of shit like this where like 
it's not g completely generic and there's actual symbolic meaning behind what they're saying and doing. Like, 0 0.2 was awesome in that regard. I could actually take it seriously. And you want to know why you can take something like that seriously too? It's because this plot is completely separated from all of Xehanort's time travel bullshittery because it's literally just what happened, the, the continuation of what happened to Aqua at the end of BBS. We don't have to worry about DD ruining this setting. So yeah, and for, so yeah, for that, like, I applaud 0 0.2. Like, on release, the Demon Towers were complete bullshit, but then they actually went back and fixed that up, and like, it's good. Like, I don't really like that there's a gauntlet you have to go through of those enemies before you can fight the best boss in the game, but you know, whatever. You know, one one gripe in a Modern Kingdom Hearts game that's, uh, you know, that's like a fucking new record <laughs> for me. Everyone who says 0 0.2 exists to explain Mickey's outfit did not pay attention to anything. Yeah, you wanna know why? It's because Kingdom Hearts fans aren't used to actual character development. <laughs> That's the thing, also, is that, like, 0 0.2 was actual fucking character development for Aqua. Because she went from being the bland, the the bland, you know, whatever, just go here, do thing, uh, looking for friends person in, in, like, Birth by Sleep, to actually having her own, like, viewpoints and struggles and shit. And, uh, it's just like, wow. Am I seeing actual character, develop character development in Kingdom Hearts? Where did this come from? Yeah, it's really- it's a, a legitimately well-written, self-contained story, and it doesn't have to rely on all the bullshit world-building that they just love shoving into these games and all this weird time travel shit, like, it's just good. Kingdom Hearts fans hate Kingdom Hearts? Dude, true, I hate Kingdom Hearts, man. I love KH1, I love KH2, Recom is actually pretty good, um, in terms of the story. The gameplay is pretty iffy to me. Um, then 0 0.2 is good, and then the rest of it is just like, what are you doing? B15 over two days is, um, I think 358 over two days is, it has a good story to it, but it's, it's chock full of filler that doesn't really help it. That's my, that's pretty much my biggest gripe with, with days, because, you know, Axel's my fucking boy, okay? That's my favorite character. I don't give a fuck. Uh... Don't confuse this with Lee. I'm talking about Axel, not fucking Lee. Fuck Lee. Hope he dies in his own fire. But, uh, yeah, dude, Axel's my fucking boy. And Roxas is pretty sick, too. Like, really fucking sick. And, you know, I, I could totally get behind a game that, you know, revolves around them, but it's just like filler, man, you know? You gotta, you gotta push the story along at some point. This now. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, BBS Lee was fine. Um 
because they didn't they didn't overdo it you know there's and it was like yeah you know this was actual in the past you know like 10 years ago it's just like okay understandable but then as soon as like Dee Dee hits he's like fucking comic re he's like only the comic relief portion of his character he's not the fucking badass who gets shit done that both Recom and Days like like build him up to be and Kingdom Hearts 2 as well like, even in Kingdom Hearts 2, like, like, dude, this motherfucker is willing to kill Roxas to avoid being turned into a dust. Like, like, he might, like, he obviously has his reservations about it, but this dude's a fucking cold blood assassin, okay? How, this dude has a fucking body count in Recom, and then in Kingdom Hearts 2, he's just like, well, guess you next, Roxas. Like, holy shit. This guy is so cool. <laughs> Do you like 352 the game, not that movie shit? Uh No, Days is kind of linear to me. Okay, so my main issue with Days is the same thing I was criticizing KH34 honestly, where um like nothing really flinches. Like it doesn't feel like you're doing anything, right? So like Roxas has all these cool Y combo things he can do by equipping a different Keyblade, and you know that's cool and all. But then you get to like the boss fights, like even just you know palette swap to larger Heartless, and they're not flinching from anything. It's just like, well, you know that's not Roxas. Roxas is the guy who has the giant who's dual wielding the the Keyblades. He's got the fucking lasers. He's got the light orbs, and he's got unbridled fucking angry aggression in Kingdom Hearts 2. And, like, you feel the weight of those attacks every time they fucking hit you if they're not killing you on level 1. And it's like... But then you're playing Days, and, like, I get it's, you know, him developing and stuff, but eventually, right? Like, at some point, you gotta let it feel like Roxas is really putting in the work. Like, that's, that's what I mean from, like, gameplay, like, telling, like, like helping to enhance story and, and tell it further. Like, in Kingdom Hearts 2, Roxas is animate. the Roxas boss is animated in such a way where, like, this guy is not fucking around. There is nothing on Roxas's kit that, that tells you this guy is fucking around. There is not a single point... Like, you can take his fucking Keyblade and he's just like, Alright, well, fuck you. I'm gonna throw, like, 20 Light Pillars at you then. I want you DEAD! That's what- and that's- that's what I mean. Like, it's not like- Like, there's- it's- There's a way to differentiate between, Okay, this is- this is a boss fight, and then- This is the Roxas boss fight. That's- Shit like this, like, these little details, they always pile up, and that's why the Roxas boss- is always going to be one of the ones that people remember the most in this game. Because there's, there's build-up, there's story, and then the actual fight itself is fucking crazily animated, and the effects are beautiful. <laughs> and they intentionally make it hard so you can experience, like, how fucking angry this guy is. Like, Roxas is harder than Final Zimnis. <laughs> Like, I'm just putting that out. Roxas is the final boss in terms of, like, difficulty. Like, like I gotta... I wanna show you guys this shit now, because, like, you don't really get the opportunity to really see this very often, because he's always zooming around. But, like... Hold on. Like, dude... Even this guy's idle animation is fucking crazy. Like, he's holding the two Keyblades, and he's, like, fucking shaking with rage right there, dude. Like, you see how the Keyblades are kind of moving, like... Like, wait for it. Yeah, like, right there when he puts his foot down. Right? Like, this guy... This guy is fucking mad. <laughs> and then, like, even his walk, like, it's not something, like casual, like, all about, like, all about, you know, caring, like, oh, wow, I'm so cool and, and powerful, like, you know, Xemnas, like, Xemnas 1 does, like, Xemnas 1 is meant to be intimidating. This guy is walking towards you in a stance where, like, he's kind of guarding himself with Oathkeeper, 
and then with Oblivion, he's ready to like fucking overhead slash you if you even approach this guy. Like, like I said, there's no fucking around in this guy's animations, and it's awesome. I love this shit. So, yeah, that's why, like, I wish the story in these games were better, because, like, with Kingdom Hearts 3, you know, I don't really get that feeling, right? Because, like, none of the build-up in those games just seems worth it. I mean, you know, you're fighting, like, Dark Riku and Zigbar in, like, the Keyblade Graveyard, right? And it's just like, okay, that's sure, but do I really care that Dark Riku is here? <laughs> Do I really care about, you know, Zigbar being, like, d doing whatever? Because I don't know what this guy's even doing. All I'm getting is, like, little tidbits. And then, like, you fight him, and then he's just like... <laughs> and then, like, well, whatever. On to the next challenge. Like, it's literally just, you know... It's just only gameplay at that point, and that's... That's why I wish the story of Kingdom Hearts focused more on, like, character development shit. Because, like, all the art assets in these games are done really well. It's just, like, the story that falls, that, that's fallen in quality as time goes on. Which really sucks. Because if the story maintained, like, in Kingdom Hearts 3, if the story maintained the quality and care for, like, character development that 0 0.2 did for Aqua and, like, the settings that they were in, or that she was in, I mean, shit, man, KH3 will be game of the year. <laughs> But that's not the reality we live in, so... Unfortunate. <laughs> Roxas mod win? Oh, dude, there's like... There's already two Roxas mods going on, so... You can check out Ryzel No 13 for... Uh, his Roxas mod that's been going on. And then there's Project Nobody May Cry, which is another Roxas mod that's been in development. I feel like they had no time to think about that. Well, they did have time to think about this story because DDD was basically setting up the entire thing. They they just fucked it up in DDD because the story is stupid. They just read themselves into the corner with three. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like I'm sorry, but I don't give a fuck about old man Zaynor. Okay, his motivation is that he's curious about what being evil is like. That's it. You know, there's some shit in there about, like, oh, I think there's too much light in the world. If you, like, really delve into, like, the birth by sleep, you know, secret reports or whatever, I think. But that's not communicated at all in birth by sleep. And then in DDD, when he's back, all he's saying is, like, ah, yes, I, uh, I planned this all from the very beginning. Uh, why? Because I want there to be a big battle or whatever. It's just, like... This is such a far cry from what Xemnas was like, where his motivation was that he wasn't a he wasn't fucking real and he wanted to go back to being that way. And like the him and the organization were so desperate they'd do fucking anything for that. Like, first of all, Paul St. Peter just fucking nails everything to do with this character, but like when I when I first played Kingdom Hearts 2, like Dummel kid brain me like even i could see what the way Zimnus was animated just like damn this guy's kind of going through something isn't he yeah he wanted to reset the world like out of fucking nowhere you do all that shit and then at the end of king of Hearts 3 it's just like no you don't understand i was just trying to destroy everything because everything shucks all right dude Yeah, man, you know, when when Zay when old man Xehanort fucking stabbed Ericus in Birth by Sleep after Ericus had already surrendered and was completely helpless to defend himself at that point. Yeah, man, he was just doing that to reset the world. He needed to stab Ericus there. There was no other solution. Like, I no, you're not going to make me believe this guy was some misunderstood good guy or whatever. Just like, 
It's like, oh, you don't understand. I, uh, you know, sure, I used to play chess with this guy all the time, so we're kind of friends, or at least acquaintances, but, eh, yeah, I could do without him existing any longer. Bro, what do you fucking mean? <laughs> Like, I'll give Kingdom Hearts 3 this, like, when when Xehanar was, like, given his dumb fucking reasoning or whatever, at least they had Sora call him out on his bullshit, and, like, no one really forgave him, quote-unquote, instead of Ericus. but the way that shit was animated, all I could think of was, did this dude just go to heaven? This guy? You cannot... Like, I, I'm still unsure, like, where the fuck this dude's going, but, but like, it's anime, like, you know, they're all light, and, like, you know, it's just, uh, it's time to go, friend, and, like, as far as I know, Eric isn't in hell or whatever, but it's like, what do you, no, <laughs> maybe he went to heaven because they can't, because they're all, they can't put this guy in the realm of darkness, they'll just take over everything again. Just like, damn, man, like, really though? This guy? Like, after after the great writing of Xemnas and Cage 2, and after just how fucking awesomely menacing Billy Zane's Anson was in Kingdom Hearts 1, you, you throwing this at me as the main guy? Just generic evil? Like, I can't, I can't take it seriously, man. See, so, like, you know, shit like that is why I always say, like, you know, like, I can continue to observe these games because, you know, it is my childhood, like, I'm never going to get away from that, but I can't take it seriously. <laughs> I was making a joke the other day about Wayfinder Show Me, Luke Skywalker, and being all, you sound just like our master. Terra really is just like Anakin Skywalker. Like, he's being constantly, like, manipulated and goaded closer to the dark side by fucking the. by, by Xehanort, you know, the guy who is pretty obviously gonna be evil. And then it's just, eh. Well, you know, shit happens, bro. It's, I'm just gonna have to strike down my I'm mean, gonna have to strike down the the more powerful Jedi Ericus before me except you know again Tara Tara didn't kill him so he didn't go that he didn't go that far off the deep end but the good guy Xehanort he killed Ericus just remember that <laughs> are you still streaming yeah man Ericus was a pretty solid character. I'm pretty sure Ericus is honestly the reason everything, uh... Everything gets fucked up, though. If he had just, like, told them the shit that was going on, like... Hey, Ventus, you know... I'm not try Like, if Ericus had legitimately just sat down with Ventus... And just bit... And instead of trying to fucking kill the dude... Just been like... Hey, buddy, look... There's this ultimate weapon that could destroy the whole fucking universe, alright? It's called the Keyblade. Not to be confused with the Keyblade. Just work with me out here, alright? And you and that other dude that hangs around with Master Xehanort, if you guys, if you guys, you know, do like a little combat, you know, things might take a turn for the worse, this Keyblade could get forged, and then the entire universe could be in danger, and you know, nobody should really be able to wield that power, so... You know, I just, you know, if you want to wander around the world, you know, we can arrange for that, but please just give it some time before everything cools off. And just let us, just let us have have some time to reconvene, you know, we'll let you, let you play around in those Disney worlds and travel around and like, you know, we can have Terra and Aqua accompany you even when things settle down. And then you can have all the adventures you want, but you know, we gotta, 
We gotta, like, not let the universe die, bro. So can you, like... Can you just, like, you know, hang back a bit instead of chasing after them? Like, if he had just said that, I'm pretty sure Ventus would have said something like, Oh, but Terra and Aqua, they could be in they could be in danger. I'm worried about them. And Eric is to be like, okay, don't worry. Terra and Aqua are very capable. Aqua is a Keyblade Master. Terra is, you know, strong. <laughs> They'll be fine, okay? You just have to have more trust in your friends, okay? promise you everything's gonna be fine and Ventus probably would have been like you know what okay if I'm that big of a risk you know I'm gonna have some fucking internal crisis about this later probably if I'm well better written but yeah let me not endanger the fucking world it could have just been that easy <laughs> like hey man you know you're kind of a fucking danger to the whole universe could you like just chill out a bit, okay? Like, I'm not trying to keep you cooped up here forever, okay? I get it, you know, it's boring. You're watching these guys train every day, and, you know, they go through the same routine. I get it, man. It's boring. School fucking sucks, okay? That's But I'm gonna... I care about you, man. So we're gonna... We're gonna try... We're gonna try to get something else arranged in the future. Just need you to be a little bit more patient fucking prob problem solved, at least in that regard. Like, at least they... At least the characters would know what the fuck's going on with the plot. <laughs> yeah, so Kingdom Hearts 3D, uh, I don't really know what happened there. I think the Moor probably hit his head on a rock and never quite recovered from the braid damage that ensued, because that time travel shit that got introduced was the... Dumbest mistake this series has ever made. <laughs> like a talk of the birds and the bees. Yeah, man, you know, there's just there's just things in nature that happen, and, you know, you just happen to be like something that could forge the ultimate weapon, you know, in a way, you're kinda like half of an ultimate life form, buddy. Uh, let's see. Not sure if this attack's been done right. Alright, let's go, buddy. Boom, bam, pop. Hmm, okay. I think what I could probably do for those is, uh, just get them a bit closer. And that would be that. Ventus actually ultimate life form. I mean, fuck man, the way they hype up the the X Blade, I'm gonna just call it that now. We all we're all on the same page here. We know what we're talking about. Um, yeah, man. I mean, you know, if it's like a fucking universe resetter, then yeah, you know, you might wanna you might wanna inform the kid who could you know be the cause of the universe getting fucking destroyed. Like, hey, man. We got we got a bit of issue here. Uh, you can work with me on this. gotta do a little bit more fine-tuning to this just need to add a couple more and then we're good with this attack I think the Kai blade <laughs> yeah the fucking god why they call it the key blade god that that's another that's another thing that's just so dumb just you could have called it anything else you could have called it you, you could have called it some legendary sword name, like, I don't know, fucking Twin Caliber, Twin X Caliber, right? But you just got, you got, you have to make it confusing. He couldn't, he couldn't help himself, Namor just couldn't help himself. You gotta do the Namor thing.
the throngler. <laughs> well, at least it'd be more recognizable than the fucking Kai Blade. Oh wait, I had to actually call those new effects. Yeah, exactly, like, look, if it was just called the X-Blade, I'd be like, okay, you know, makes makes sense, you know, the, the blades are kind of crossed, you know, it's a weird looking X, but, you know, I could see it. Nah, dude, it's the fucking Keyblade. What do you mean it's the fucking Keyblade? They're all Keyblades. No, 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 it's the Keyblade. Ugh. <sighs> Namora up to his old tricks again. Dude's focusing on this for a bit because I got to time these hitboxes and then it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Where's the final boss missing link? Hey, you know what, dude? At this at this point, like if he's the final boss of Kingdom Hearts 4, it would almost make sense.
main characters find a new director for their own show or something. Well, it certainly sounds creative. <laughs> Alright, well that took forever, but uh... Fuck yeah, dude. That might actually be all the attacks they want. Let me check my notes. Uh... Eh, nah, fuck it, he's got enough. Alright, cool. Let's go! Sock wearing Ericus's Keyblade armor? Nah, man. This is a boss. Nah, dude, this is the playable armor of the Master mod. <laughs> Need to find again. The ending of the series is I'm trying to be at the end credits to stop the show from ending. Was... Yeah, that sounds amazing, actually. That's genius. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the boss right now. I think I'll just end making another game. Dude, if I can if I can be making if I can be developing games and like actually have stable financials fi stable financial state, uh that's a dream right there, man. Not hitting. I'll have to. Well, I'll have to code a different hitbox for that stuff, I guess. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not at all inconvenienced. Whatever. I am the boss. 
Yeah, dude. I mean, make like making custom bosses in this game is very time consuming if you want to be super in depth. But my my favorite part is always when I get to the AI, because then I get to really let this guy express himself, how much he wants to fucking kill you. <laughs> But anyways, um, that should be everything. I might actually be able to start on the AI and start troubleshooting shit. Fuck, oh, man, that, that actually feels shocking. Because I think I did all the sounds, too. Also, this is like a mod version of one of the rooms from Daisy's Castle. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a changed version of the audience chamber. So the glowy lights, uh, they're leftover effects, but basically these are what he shoots lasers out of normally. Um... Here. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he'll be shooting lasers out of at you. When he moves. Oh, uh. So I added these as like a little indicator. I'm not sure if I'm going to design the boss exactly like this, but I had the interesting idea of whenever he's walking, whenever he's idle, he's actually completely invincible, and the only way you can actually stagger the dude is to break is to break through his uh, his sturdiness during some of his attacks. I thought that would be very interesting as like a little gimmick because there is not a single boss in the entire series that functions that way. I might actually take off the light on his helmet. That actually looks a bit weird. Which one is that? He's gonna have some type of super armor? Uh, yes. If I decide to go with that design philosophy. I haven't set it in stone yet. But it's what I've been thinking of. The only reason they aren't like that when he's uh, idle currently is because uh, if I did that, the effects would stack uh, while I'm testing him like this, and it would uh, eventually crash the game if I wasn't careful. So. Don't want to do that. Yeah, this boss be an easy boss whatsoever. Um, so it's 12. Which one of these is 12? Okay, cool. Yeah, I think that looks better, actually. There we go. Alright. Alright, dudes. Um, shit. All his attacks are actually done, and his visual effects, and his, uh, oh, what is it, the sound effects, too. So, I can either just... 
I could either set up his environment and start working on him now, or I could just... Or I could just be interesting, you know? I could stream, like, actual, uh, actual gameplay. I'm gonna take some time to get these files arranged, actually, so... Save state here, just in case. Hey, dude. hey, fuck it. If I'm gonna do like a 9 to 5 stream, you know what I can do at any time I want? Is entertain you guys. And what's more entertaining than actual gameplay? Just start heading out now. I gotta get ready for work. It was nice hanging out. I might also get on the Patreon, the Vibe, and Discord sometime. Uh, thanks, man. I greatly appreciate that. Yeah, I'm gonna actually update the Patreon with uh, other sh shit soon enough. So, um, yeah. Uh, be on the lookout for that. That's my shilling for the day. God, it feels so... Oh, it feels so soul-sucking to even tr shill like that. But, yeah. I'm gonna update the Patreon, Q. It's gonna be really cool. Yeah, I've got I've got cool plans for you guys, all right? I want to make shit actually worth it. I want it to be some stuff that's more accessible and shit, right? Like you know, I have a I have a tier that's for like tutoring and shit, but you know, as time has gone on, I've I have to learn something. Nobody wants to mod this fucking insane asylum game, all right? They're going to want to mod Cage 3, and that's totally fine. I get it. I'm the crazy one here for modding this game. I get it. So with that, so with that in mind, I want to make something actually interesting. And uh, I shall, I shall do that. I shall do that. Um, let's see. Copy. Right. I don't remember how to do this shit. I'm like kind of falling asleep here. I need to like jolt myself awake or something. Fuck, maybe I need to drink an energy drink after all. That's what I'm being reduced to. I blame Publix. Fuck Publix. Fuck retail. Alright, let's see. How many fucking files do we have to delete? Because this thing all saves it. Oh yeah, 197 edits today. Let's go, baby. All right, I'm gonna entertain you folks now with some uh, some actual gameplay. Uh, so let's uh, let's get out of this debug version of this. Uh, I should probably save my text document as well, actually. Codes because we don't need them. We're too cool for those codes now, alright? It's time for some fucking video games. In fact, I should add the title of the stream. Um, so, what do I want to do right now? What I want to do that could be interesting to uh, all you wonderful viewers. It's full Let's get this window up and running. Um, how do you edit the title of a stream when you're midstream? I don't know how YouTube works. Alright, all 18 of you watching the stream currently, do you want to see me do, like, early early game stuff, like start the game from the beginning for a while? 
Or do you want to see me fight uh, more of that secret boss that I already uploaded a video on? Can you do polls in YouTube chat? Can you say both? Uh, I mean, you can. Secret boss will be fun. Alright. The people have spoken. Let me, um, let me double check to make sure I can do it on this version of, uh, the emulator first. So I've got three separate versions of the simulator I use now. One's for the stuff you just saw, the other is for, uh, loading files in. Um... I can, uh, you know, this is actually really difficult to explain the different uses for them, but, uh, just, just trust me, it's, it's actually necessary. <laughs> um, where the fuck is host loader again? There it is. Will you abide by the rules, results of the poll? Uh, yep, the, the poll that you all seem to have, have made on your own, so good job. I applaud you all for your efforts. Oh, wait, you're referencing that fucking Elon Musk shit. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> I will indeed abide by the results of the poll. I will step down as the CEO of Project Aqua, alright? God, if only I was a fucking CEO of a company. Good lord. How the hell do you edit stream tiles. I want to I need to edit this cuz now we're not doing a Let's see. Relaxing development stream. Yup, know fuck it. We'll just do relaxing development slash gameplay stream for Project Aqua. Custom. We'll just change it to custom boss edition. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, if I reload the page, does it change the title midstream? Well, it takes forever to load for one, so that's something. Oh, hey, there we go. It actually works if you refresh the page. Let's go. God, I'm a genius. So fucking good, man. I figured out a YouTube poll. Wow. Stop the fucking presses. Wait, no, not YouTube poll, YouTube title. How dead is my brain, man? Alright. Uh. Here we go, here we go, boys, content. My keyboard is off to the side, so this is gonna be tough. God damn, this game looks so much better on this version. Alright. See if I get body. Alright, off to a great start. Already took damage in phase one, the phase that's supposed to be calm. Oh, nice. Alright. I forget how sharp my mod looks on this version because I almost never get to play on this version. <laughs> okay. Let's work on PCSX2 proper, we'll need a custom again. Uh, it's gonna need a custom. Um, not just for that, but because, like, the a lot of the HD textures are built in, or like, built into the download of this, uh, this mod, like, PCSX2 folders. So your game would not look this good if uh, you were just using a different VCSX2. A bitch! Alright, what you gonna do out of that? Fucking double DMing piece of shit. Okay, okay. Different about this version, uh, the coloring is much better. Um, 
and the textures are sharper. Because the release version of it lets you uh, do that shit. The only problem is uh, it offsets a lot of addresses that the old KH2FM tools were. Oh god! Oh god, 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 get away from me. Uh, you're gonna DM, aren't you? Bitch. Knew it. Um, but like, because it's offset a lot of uh, addresses for shit, like old KH2 tools won't work for it, so you need to use like an older version of PCSX, PCSX2 like I was doing before, or uh, yeah, the tools just won't work. So fan of Antiform. Hey, you know what, for the people, alright. Alright, her last phase is coming up. Tell me what... Tell me what form you guys want me to use. You got one for dancer. Got one for armored. I will abide by the results of the poll. But if it's a tie, uh... Dancer, armor, blade. Damn, we've got a divided chat room in here right now. Oh, we got two for dancer. Three for dancer. Alright, damn. Looks like dancer's the winner. Alright, let's see how I throw this fucking, this fucking round. She's too fat like Pete. Or Mister. Hey, what you doing? Okay. Are you good? <laughs> I've I've actually never seen her do that shit before, so I'm just like over here kinda confused. <laughs> oh god. No! <laughs> Crazy. You're crazy. You're a fucking lunatic. Oh, I fucked that up real good. that. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Get out of here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright. She got me. <laughs> I gotta jump out as my day is horrible. You're all join back. You're still going when I get home. Alrighty. Well, I'll be going to. I'll be going for like three more hours. Then I'm gonna spend the rest of my day setting up some stuff that I should be setting up. All right. We safe scummed. Let's go. I like do or fight legitimately after this. I just now. Now you guys got me playing dance form again. I'm like, God, I fucking love this form. Oh god. Get away. Get the fuck away. No! God damn it! Hit the fucking wall. I didn't actually know where the wall was there. That sucks. I gotta start playing this better. Jesus. Three more absolute madmen. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna start treat. I'm, I'm. 
I'm gonna start treating streaming as like a nine to five job, dude. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how well I can actually pop these off if I'm if I'm legitimately trying. Uh, there'll be some days where like I don't do it yet, cause uh, I gotta put in like an actual two weeks notice for my job, cause I guess I'm just a good employee like that. I am fucking dead. Is this mod bounced around level 1 like Vanitas? Uh, yes. Fuck. Holy shit, what are you doing? Oh my god, that was sick! <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh god. Nope, you ain't gonna kill me. Oh my god. I gotta get good at dancing for me again, what the fuck? Whoa, chill! Fucking pearls are adding too much revenge value to her. <laughs> oh my god, I'm alive. No, I'm not. However, you turn down the effects skin point, you can only see cloud of effects and not the models. Yeah, I, uh, uh I kind of saw the complaints. I was just like, eh, you know, I can understand it. Um, I've had multiple people test this mod now, and, like, the effects are to the point where, like, when you're in control, like, you actually, you know, you know what's going on. When you're not in control, you know, this boss is gonna fucking gobble the shit out of you. Alright. I'm gonna beat you this time. This no, it's not. No, it's not. I gotta remember... I gotta remember the mix-ups, okay? She, uh... So, there was a point in development of this boss where I went back to her and started adding, like, uh, quite a few mix-ups to her. And, uh, they're trip The ones that I added much later are the ones that are tripping me up, because I for always forget they exist. Oh god, what the f- Bitch! Okay. 